Kayla. What's up, Kayla? Um, it was it was good. It was good. I had a good day. How are you? Sorry. I was doing some other stuff. I don't know when you put the message in. I was doing some other stuff while I was uh getting ready for the start screen to finish. Good to see you, Kayla. Up, man. There we go. Why does that always reset, man? I don't know. You know, let's just get it. Where's our, where's our music? Yeah. What's up, guys? Good morning, good morning. 15th of March, man. We're already halfway done with March. That's insane. Insano. Um, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, day 12 of Elden Ring, is that where we're at? I think so, day 12, yeah, 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 day 12, imagine that, imagine, imagine rushing to beat Elden Ring, imagine that, yo, Mamzelle, what's up, what's up, Wick? <laughs> You guys are wild, man. Already going at it. Already. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, guys? How are you? Kayla, what's up? Yeah, Kayla, The uh, it went well. It went well. It actually... Um, I don't know if you could hear me. I was trying to talk to you while the uh, start screen was up, but the music was going on and stuff. Um, it was actually, especially, you know, I, I, a little bit of anxiety yesterday because of that particular area that was getting tattooed. Uh, not as bad as the right one was. <laughs> so, so it was all right, man. It went, it went good. It went good. Um, I'm going to go back in, in like a month and a half, um, just for, my artist kind of look over everything after it's been healed up uh, together. So, because he wants to take a look, see if there's anything he might need to touch up a little bit. Um, but we're basically done. Yeah. And uh, he wants to take a video of the whole thing because it's a nice big piece, you know. So, um, but other than that, it's basically finished. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, hot tub stream next, right, Wick? Uh, hot tub bubble stream. 
I'm gonna figure out how to get that done. Yeah? No. Good? Does that work? It's, it's this, th th all over here, dude, all over here. This is the side that got done. You <laughs> picture, don't be teasing, buddy. You be careful. <laughs> don't be teasing, dude. So like, all this, all this is done. Yesterday was like, uh, kind of a shorter session. Dude, Lost Ark has an update. What? Dude, Lost Ark has a huge update. No? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I lied. Just a small one. Just a small one. <laughs> what happened, dude? What do you mean, F Lost Ark, man? Yo, Mamzelle, you liked that uh you liked that meme that I threw in, in the channel yesterday in Discord? That was pretty good, yeah? That basically sums up the entirety of, of our Lost Ark play, right? Let me get some uh, news going on, guys. There we go. Demote Wick? What happened? What happened? Guardian raid? Oh, dude. <laughs> what what guardian were you fighting? Whooped you? Whooped you up? Which guardian, dude? The hard one? <laughs> right. Oh, the 580? <laughs> Mamzelle just puts F's. <laughs> Kayla, oh, 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 somewhere else later. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Yo, I hopped on there, um, I hopped on Lost Ark last night for just a bit after I got home, and uh, I got a couple of successful honings. I just did a couple of quick chaos dungeons, and um, <laughs> that's funny, guys. Yeah, I got, I did a couple of honings um, after my, my chaos, or my, yeah, my uh, chaos dungeons, and uh, I threw enough moon breaths in there. What were they? 60% chances. And I moon breathed one up to 80, another one up to 75, and they both succeeded. So I felt pretty good with that. 583? Ooh, bro, getting close. Nice. That last little push, dude, it hurts every time you get a fail, dude. That last little push does. It's brutal. Brutal, man. So hopefully you don't have any fails. Hacker, Mamzelle, where are you at? And Kayla, where are you at? Kayla. I feel like we have to get Kayla in there playing with us now. I'm going to keep pushing for it. Tier, uh, tier two shards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you mean just off of like questing and stuff or off of like, um, your chaos dungeons?
You shouldn't be getting any tier 2 shards off of Chaos Dungeons yet. I don't think. Quests. Yeah. So here's the thing. I know that feels a bit bad right now. What's going to be really, really nice though is that as soon as you hit 600... Yeah, the purple quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured you meant. As soon as you hit 600, all that tier 2 stuff, those resources that you've been getting off of your purple quest and you've been saving up, dude, you're going to bump from 600 like to above 900 probably. So you're going to hit 600, you're going to do that main quest, and then you're going to sit there and you're going to hone your equipment to like level 7 or 8 immediately across the board. And you're going to feel like a huge power boost. And it's going to feel nice because you're going to have all those resources sitting there to just hone everything up immediately. And it feels really good. It feels bad right now because you want to get all that tier 1 stuff to 600 and it's taking time. That's kind of where like uh, Pinky and myself are right now. Like we're, I'm like mid, I'm, I'm at like 1057 I think. Pinky's like almost to 1100. And it's basically doing chaos dungeons every day, taking those resources and trying to get a honing or two to succeed, right? Um, it, it's rough. It's tedious. But as soon as you hit that next tier, man, um, you're kind of set up to boost real nice. So I know it feels bad, but you'll get it. You'll get it. I'll see if I have any resources I can throw you guys away too if you need anything, okay? All right, let's talk some gaming news, yeah? Anything else new going on with you guys? I will say this. So, I do pretty good. Like, like I came home last night. <laughs> I came home last night and uh, took a shower. Got my tattoo lotion on and everything, but dude, I I, I went to sleep last night with a sh with my shirt on, and usually uh, after like my tattoo, I sleep with the shirt off to let it air out and stuff, and I just passed out with my shirt on, man, wasn't thinking. I woke up, dude, and it had totally like dried the part of my tattoo, so I had to like peel it off. It flipping hurt, dude. <laughs> it flipping hurt, man. I was like, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, ah. It sucked. It sucked. It was just dumb. I was tired last night. I just like flop, just hit the bed, dude, and just passed out. I'm excited for it to heal so I can show you guys, though. I know, dude. I know. The thing is, well, it's not really, dude. The thing is, if... Hard to keep my wife off of me, dude, if I don't wear a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Just the way it is, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's, I can't just be running around without a shirt on, dude. It just, uh, it's just too much. It's too much, bro. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, dude, let's read some news. Let's read some news. Um Oh, dude, here we go. Uh Ubisoft was hacked. Gaming company Ubisoft confirms it was hacked. Resets staff passwords. Fantastic. Um, Steam's latest hit is a co-op survival game blending Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Valheim. Core Keeper. I haven't even heard about this. Let's look at that. We've already read about that. Elden Ring player earns 86 million runes from invading another player. Restarts the entire game. What? Is it interesting? Yeah. Wick, have you tried it? Or, or are you just uh, familiar with the game? 
we'll take a look at it and see what's up. But I'm interested in, in what you know about it. Just familiar? Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll pull it up and take a look. Not your jam. Just a D move. What do you what do you mean, man? So this? You talking about this Elden Ring thing? Is that what you're talking about, Mademoiselle? You seen a friend play um, the Core Keeper stuff? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Okay. Okay, right on, right on. Uh, Microsoft releases Direct Storage, a new era of fast load times and detailed worlds in PC games. We're going to look at that too. That's uh, interesting. I love that they say Microsoft releases Direct Storage and they show a Samsung uh, M.2 solid state drive. Uh, that's kind of odd. Yes to both. Follow along. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know I didn't get my 12 hours of streaming in, dude. Now I'm all rusty. Got to wear a hat here, bro. Take this one. Um, I've got some pretty good lotion. I got it up early enough. Uh, sucks to suck, right? Get good. Get good, Wick. Uh, I've got some really good uh, tattoo lotion. So um, basically, well, I, I, just, I, I stay very silence of the lambs whenever I, I've got a fresh tattoo. I'm just, I'm always lotioning up, man. Just always. So I don't dry, um, I, I don't dry out real bad. And, and so the shirt doesn't chafe or anything um, too much. So, um, Basically what I'll do is, is like, I'll take a shower and then I'll wait just a bit to let it dry. You know, I'll like pat it, let it dry. And then I'll, I'll put the lotion on and I'll finish getting ready and everything while the lotion is really like working its way in. And then I'll, I'll kind of pat some of that. Cause the, the, the lotion's got a bit of petroleum in it. Not a lot, but just a little bit. <laughs> like I said, dude, I don't need that. I don't need that. All I got to do is take my shirt off and hop in bed. Game over, dude. It just, it's just just part of just part of this, dude. It's just part of this. <laughs> you, oh yeah, you move a little right on. I can understand that, Kayla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I understand that. Yeah. Um. Basically, the stuff I have um, that I I think everybody because everybody's skin's a little bit different too. I'll show you what I use. Hold on, let me grab it. I can't remember the name of it. Hold on. This is stuff I've been using for a while now. Hustle butter. Aquaphor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I used to use, like back in the day, uh, I used Aquaphor as, as well. I still like Aquaphor. Yeah. 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 Well, and the thing is, everybody's skin's different, right? And uh, I think it's just a matter of finding out what works well with your skin. And, and obviously, there are some things that you shouldn't be using. Use grape jelly. Hey, dude. PB and J it up, dude, if it's what works for you, I guess. Obviously... 
Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, I think it depends on your type of skin and stuff because I my my tattoos peel as well. Yep, it they don't peel right away or anything. It's a matter of um, I think there's a difference between a good pill and a bad pill, though. I don't think you're wrong, Mamzelle. Um, Kayla, I'm the same way. All of mine have pilled, but it takes them a while. And um, I, again, I take very good care of my tattoos. And, um, but I do think that different lotions can play a different role depending on how people's uh, skin is, yeah? Because everybody's different, you know, um, some people have very oily skin naturally, some people have very dry skin naturally, and I think a big part of tattoo care is understanding how your skin composition kind of works and what the best type of, um, obviously there's like a default care for, for tattoos, right? Um, but there's going to be some substances that work a bit better for your type of skin than would work better for somebody else's type of skin, does, if that makes sense, yeah? Well, and Kayla, part of that is getting good tattoo work as well. Well, I guess that's probably what I'm getting at is, is shedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, your, your skin is always shedding, right? And uh, part of the healing process is, uh, from a tattoo is, is shedding um, some of that layer of, of epidermis off, right? That has been uh, abrased from the needle. That's, that's kind of the way it works. But yeah, there's, there's a big difference in that. You're right. Because you can tell a really nice looking tattoo from somebody that has healed correctly. Um, as opposed to somebody that has not healed correctly and their tattoos look very um, scuffed. Yeah. What I have found is that this stuff works pretty good for me, but my uh, my skin at times will, um, so this stuff goes a little bit, goes a long way. So usually what I have to do is like put it on and then I wait a little bit and then I'll take like a paper towel and I'll dab off like the extra stuff. Wick, let's go, dude. You're getting it on your belly button. I'm getting it on a target on my uh, lower back, right? It'll be super easy. Yo, dude, you gonna take this hat? Here. I was thinking about wearing a hat today too. That's why I brought one over to my PC. I might throw a hat on, I don't know. Less and less after getting them, they still look great. Yeah, I didn't take uh, the best care of my first tattoo. I'll say that. Uh, initially I did, but I was also, uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't maintain uh, a lot of conditioning on it and stuff like that after it had healed and stuff. So I don't know. We'll keep going with the news. <clears throat> but I'm glad. I'm glad your tattoo still look really good. Most of my. I mean, this one on my forearm still looks pretty good. I've got a break. Uh, I messed my arm up working on a motorcycle, and uh, but this one on my arm is from like you can tell even with my hairy arms, dude. That still looks pretty decent. And that was like, dude, over a decade ago. So a lot of it has to do with actually getting work done from people that use good ink, know what they're doing, getting, doing tattoos, you know, like it's a combination, taking care of it as well as getting good work done. We should touch tattoos together. <laughs> Bro, the middle picture that I just got from that was terrible. Terrible. I mean, awesome. I mean, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's what I meant. Wrong word. 
gaming industry to have a blockchain connected future studio execs say okay yeah we've already got an article up about that stalker 2 renamed to heart of Ch chernobyl to reflect ukrainian spelling oh okay that's cool that's cool now weren't they planning on putting like a bunch of uh nfts in stalker though the new stalker game we'll take a look at this real quick this isn't this is a we'll, we'll see you're wild buddy that was that was a good laugh dude yo i actually think i didn't mean to do that i was testing out my mouse buttons i didn't mean to click on a link but um my mouse might actually finally be uh taking a dump i'm not sure sometimes i feel like i right click and i don't get input from it um i've got backup mice it's not a huge deal but we we should touch tattoos together what what a comment dude what a comment I was actually thinking wick I was thinking the other day about you you've actually made some pretty good clips in the channel dude and I'm gonna go back and pull some of those down I need to get to work on getting a uh like an outro collage done uh for the channel uh and probably gonna use some of those clips that you've made pretty sure he's got my face and one of those pieces of cake <laughs> doing the evil emote you know doing this one right here <laughs> I sure really stay uh, a, ne a new gen of uh, headset. Okay, let's take a look at that. Wait, what? Rando mode. Let's go. <laughs> you got the. It's the three head. Sorry. Yeah, it's the three head. Yeah. Too chicken to get a tattoo. <sighs> morning rando mode time let's go what is that dude john carnage what is that yo i like the little uh be yourself emote that's pretty nice i like i haven't seen that one before either let's uh let's change up uh change up our search here we got a little bit of news to go over this morning Uh, it's cool to see this. I'm not going to dive into this. Oh, feels bad, man. Wick. Feels, <laughs> that's actually kind of appropriate for what was just talked about. <laughs> He's too chicken to get a tattoo. Rando Mo feels bad, man. <laughs> I swear, dude. Hey, man. Uh, Twitch is like uh, actually listening to us. I can't tell you how often things like that happen with our rando motes they like actually come out as very appropriate for the content we've been talking about and stuff. It's very funny. Yeah. 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 Twitch and stream elements. Yeah. They're, they're working in conjunction to like, uh, meme us out. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're definitely watching. Uh huh. New video game company aims to develop therapeutic games. That's cool. I mean, there are already therapeutic games out there, but it's cool that, you know, there are some companies being uh, developed specifically at, at uh, you know, 
games that are therapeutic for people with anxiety or people that have mental, uh, you know, disabilities or, you know, across the board, you know, autism, There, there's all kinds of things being developed in games. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's one of those things like, I mean, I'm, I, I'm occasionally advocating for people to take a look at uh, what kind of social media you can get yourself off of. Yeah. Uh, because especially like companies like Facebook, man, well, in my opinion, companies like Facebook are terrible, terrible companies. And um, I urge people to see what you can do, like, like just do test yourself you know if you have a facebook yeah hey uh kayla good for you me too me too yeah so i i deactivated my account like a long like many many years ago so i didn't have any current stuff on there i hadn't had anything on there in a lot of years and um but i just kept forgetting to get back on there and delete my account because i i had some like some data like pictures and stuff that i wanted to uh download but I was just never on there. I always forgot that I even had an account, you know. And finally, uh, this year, I got back on there, kept the account for Messenger. I mean, that's why I had the account originally was because I left home as a young adult. I uh, moved around a lot. I had friends all over the place. I had family back home. It was easy to keep in touch with people. But then it turned into something else, man. And, and it got to where, like, people were getting a hold of me that I didn't really care to know about me or where I was and stuff and what was up with me. And, and I, I was finally just like, I'm just going to deactivate my account. I don't need this. You know, um, it wasn't a necessity for me. It was just a convenience more, uh, I found out. And so do you deactivate it? And then this year I actually went back and downloaded the data that I needed out of my account. And I fully assume that Facebook is holding on to the data in my account they won't fully be deleted because that company is scummy. Um, but that's why I, I urge people to just see what they can do about, you don't have to delete right away. Just deactivate your account. See if you can do without it. An OA burner account right on that works. That works. But yeah. I mean, just deactivate your account. See if you can do without it. You know what I mean? And if you find it, you don't miss it anymore then go download your data that you need from your account and just delete it because Facebook, man, Facebook, what a terrible company. So good on you, Kayla. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Yo, and Wick, delete that burner account. <laughs> uh, are Roblox and Minecraft safer kids? Look, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was, I was never like, I got to where there were a few times where I had logged in for uh, situations like that because I needed to see like maybe something that I had heard might have happened or was going on. And it was just easier for me to log in there and see if I could grab some uh, news about what might be happening or whatever. But it was like two or three times over we're talking years and years and years. And uh, then I was just like, I don't need this. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. Any kind of online environment, even if it's created for kids, will to an extent be uh, susceptible to bad things, right? What do you feel more passionately about? You. <laughs> Not using a controller on Ellen Ring or deleting Facebook. Um, <laughs> deleting Facebook. I would use a controller on Elden Ring. Um, I'm being a stubborn PC player. I'm being an advocate for developers to have more of a stance of developing games across all platforms equally. That's what I'm trying to do. 
That's what I'm trying to do. But definitely deleting Facebook for sure. Bigger stance on that. Um, <clears throat> back to this. Ultimately, where does keeping kids safe in online environments lie? With their guardians. There will always be sites that promote um, keeping having being a, a safe space for kids to work and play and stuff like that. There will always be people that, that uh, turn these sites into toxic environments. And it's ultimately up to the guardians of children to maintain some kind of overview of what they're engaging in. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Cloud gaming is being sold as the next stage of game video game innovation. Um, I'm not buying into it, really. There are things about the cloud that are great, <clears throat> like backing up your games and stuff like that, your save files and stuff, but as far as me buying into, like, not having my own equipment here, running my equipment off of a cloud... And stuff like that, buying buying time off of equipment on the cloud and stuff, I'm I'm I just don't ever see myself doing that. Nvidia's got a really cool setup right now where you can do that, but I don't see myself doing that. Nvidia Wick. Shout out. Nvidia smoothies, dude. Yeah, we've read that. We've read that. <clears throat> oh, that was just the, uh, yeah, the deep well stuff. Hogwarts Legacy announced. <clears throat> Didn't this get uh, delayed? We'll take a look real quick. <clears throat> and it's... Tra well, apparently he's got an OA poop smoothie, if you didn't know. Yeah, he named a smoothie after me, and it's poop-flavored, apparently. Do you tell him his products suck or just say it is good? <laughs> I actually, he's poop flavored. <laughs> Where's the rebuttal here? I'm ready to see what what Wick has to say about this. Uh, I actually, uh, I would love to uh, see what what Wick's whole smoothie um, establishment is about, dude. I'm I'm actually really intrigued. Apparently, he's doing a very very good job with this business, and uh, I'm proud of him, man. I'm proud of him. Everything I know about like the entire like how it happened and got started and and where he's at now and everything with it, <clears throat> it sounds it's really really cool, man. But uh, don't tell him I said that. Right? We don't want his head getting too big. I mean, if people are, if he's getting slammed for smoothies when it's like negative 10 degrees outside, they're, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know you are, Caleb. I know you are. There's got to be, that's why I keep memeing him with. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? What, what, what addictive chemical are you throwing in those smoothies to get people come through there to grab smoothies, cold smoothies when it's like negative 15 degrees outside? <laughs> you got to be throwing the like nicotine smoothies. What, what are you throwing in there, man? It's the beard. He's got to he's got to start trying harder to get that thing grown back out. It it feels like it's taken a while. I didn't brush mine down today. I forgot. I need to on break. I'm going to have to brush mine out. 
I've got I've got nasty beard today because I didn't brush mine down with the uh, the verticoli brush. <laughs> I'm not doing the Adam Sandler thing. That's hilarious. That's pretty funny, man. It could be could be that. They want those Adam Sandler smoothies, yeah. Okay, let's stick with this. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, man. That's too much, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's up. Uh, Ubisoft got hacked. Uh, if you guys have Ubisoft accounts, this might be some stuff you need to pay attention to. Let's get this uh, death counter off the screen for now. Sorry. Um, French video game company Ubisoft on Friday confirmed it was a victim of a cybersecurity incident causing temporary disruptions to its game systems and services. Uh, investigation into the breach was underway and that it has initiated a company-wide password reset as a precautionary measure. Can confirm that all of our game services are functioning normally and that at this time there is no evidence that any player personal information was accessed or exposed as a byproduct of this incident. Uh, news of the hack comes amid a strong high profile attacks targeting NVIDIA, Samsung, Mercado, Lib Libre, and Vodafone in recent weeks. While the extortionist gang uh, Lapsus claimed responsibility for these attacks, it's not immediately clear if the group is behind the Ubisoft breach as well. Look, this is what I'll say. If you have an Ubisoft account, um, it's probably, even though th they're stating that uh, it doesn't appear as if um, player account information was accessed or, or taken or hacked or whatever, reset your password. Make sure you have two-factor authentication set up on your account. Protect yourself. Um, I would say right now, they're not quite sure exactly everything that got uh, accessed by the hackers, okay? So the best thing anybody can do if you have an Ubisoft account, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, too. <laughs> Probably go in, reset your password, make sure you've got two-factor authentication turned on. That way, if any uh, player accounts did get uh, information access hacked or whatever, um, you won't be running a risk of having your account uh, taken or hacked or whatever. Err on the side of caution, yeah. Um, technology news site The Verge. Uh, I really like The Verge. Uh, they've got some pretty good articles. Which first reported the development said that the criminal group seemed to confirm their involvement, although it bears noting that Lapsus hasn't been vocal about taking credit like it did in the other cases. Uh, unlike other ransomware groups that steal and encrypt proprietary information for a ransom, Lapsus extorts the targets by plundering sensitive data and holding it hostage and threatening with leakage should their demands not be fulfilled. Yeah. Oh, that's what KOC is on? Oh, it's, e it's EA? <laughs> Ugh, God. EA, dude. Uh, no, you're good. You're good, Mamzo. You're good. Steam's latest hit is a co-op survival game blending Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Valheim. Yo, I'm actually going to be playing Stardew Valley probably uh, next month. We're going to finish up Elden Ring. We're going to play the Kirby games. Um, we're probably going to be playing some Metopia. I know I have an Ubisoft account. I just haven't been on it in forever. Um, and then I think we're going to play Stardew Valley. And I probably won't do anything but fish, apparently. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Is it going independent? Really? Okay. Oh, wild. Okay, cool. Wick. 
That's info, dude. Right on. Hard to summarize everything going on in Core Keeper, but I'd say it's sort of a blend of Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Minecraft, with a bit of Valheim and even some Factorio thrown in for good measure. Plus, it's all set deep underground in the dark, but somehow that doesn't stop it from feeling quite cozy and charming. It's already looking like a breakout hit. The indie survival crafting sandbox, which can be played co-op with up to eight players, launched into Steam Early Access on March 8th. Just 48 hours later, Core Keeper had already sold 100,000 copies. A week later, according to the developer, it's more than doubled that. Oh, dude. This is like last year's um, Loop Hero and Valheim, yeah? It's kind of going nuts, dude. Oh, you play Stardew? Nice, Mamzell. Yeah, I mean, I've... Look, uh, it's like... Do you guys know what uh, Harvest Moon is? You know what the game Harvest Moon is? So, there was a game on Super Nintendo when I was a kid called Harvest Moon. A crowd control for Stardew? It's very funny? Okay. So... So I loved Harvest Moon as a kid, and I know that Stardew Valley is like Harvest Moon on steroids. So I'm going to like be totally enthralled with Stardew Valley. It's going to be really dangerous because I know you can spend a ton of time in that game. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, and and uh, I'm I'd probably be cool with doing some multiplayer in it and stuff like that too, uh, because I know that you play multiplayer in Stardew, right? Um, I'll probably want to play it single player for a little bit to kind of get my grips on like what the game has to offer and how to like play it and stuff like that first. But, uh, if it's got multiplayer and everything, which I, I think per, if I remember correctly, it does. And Hey, did you guys off to work, Mamzelle? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, dude, your, your week's over. I'm so sorry. I know what crowd control is in like RPGs. I don't know, know necessarily what crowd control uh, is in a game like Stardew. Um, yeah, Mamzelle, Kim, take it easy. I hope you have a good day at work. Thanks for being here, buddy. We'll see you later, hopefully. Call in sick. No, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. A week off and then call in sick. <laughs> Wick, fill me in. Oh, that was brutal, dude. That's savage. Oh, that's some hateful stuff right there. Um, what was the other game I was about to bring up? If you guys didn't know, Stardew Valley is actually getting a... Um, the creator... Almost called off today, Kayla. Yeah. Um, there is... The creator of Stardew Valley is creating a new game. Did you guys know that? The dev of Stardew Valley is a single person, if you didn't know. Um, what's the name of that company? Ape. Uh, I'll pull it up. And uh, he's making a new game, uh, Haunted Chocolatier. It looks very Stardew Valley, if you weren't aware. I'll pull it up. Oh, it's not even on Steam yet. Hold on. Yeah, Concerned Ape, right? Uh, chocolate Haunted Chocolates here. This is this is Concerned Ape's new game. Yeah, the dev of Stardew Valley. So this is the new game that's being made. And if you're interested, here's the. Uh, the link in chat, but, uh, this is the new game being made. You can see looks very Stardew, same, same pixel art and everything. Um, you can see it right here. Yeah. And it was announced back in October that, uh, he was making a new game. You spent the last decade on Stardew, man. Spent the last decade on Stardew. Yo, Bean, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? How's the, uh, you've you been playing more Elden? 
I want to see what this is, though. Core Keeper. In Core Keeper, you find yourself trapped underground in a massive... Happy Tuesday, Bean. Uh, in a massive, procedurally generated network of caverns, having been summoned there by the mysterious Core, a powerful yet dormant piece of ancient technology. Start picking away at walls to digging tunnels, collect resources like copper and tin, use those resources to craft weapons, armor, and tools, chop tree roots. Okay, let's uh, let's see what this is, dude. Core Keeper. That looks fun. Oh, dude, this looks cool. Yo, my kids are gonna like this. to the area oh oh volcano manor yeah 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 okay cool cool bean right on dude yeah man yeah i'm excited to they will like it yeah yeah this looks like something that would be cool to like um get into and play with them and and like play with some of the community and stuff too man Yeah, Bean, I'm, I'm excited to, to get back into the game today. we got a lot of stuff to search out for. Actually, I've got to go back to Volcano Manor first thing this morning. I, I killed uh, the next uh, contract yesterday right before we ended the stream. That looks really cool, man. That looks really cool. Nice. Horror Keeper. Oh, uh, real quick. Wish list that. There. Go ahead and add that. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Yo, what is up with my Steam? What? Okay. All right. No, you're not playing that? Why, Wick? What's wrong? I need to know why you won't play that. Because it doesn't have hockey sticks. You. <laughs> Elden Ring player earns 86 million runes from invading another player restarts the entire game. What? Dude, that is a, an insane amount of runes. Elden Ring player apparently received 86 million runes from killing another player. In a post on Reddit, user uh, Fixo2, dude, that's insane, claims to have slain another player after venturing into their in-game world. They were rewarded with the feat with right around 86 million runes, a pretty far cry from the 40,000 runes they needed to level up once. Imagine needing 40,000 to level up. We need like half of that right now. Understandably, the player was somewhat paralyzed by choice when it came to actually spending all 86 million of their newly acquired runes. Some commenters underneath the original post suggested laundering the runes through patches, which is obviously who you'd go to in the lands between for some less savory business deals. Yo, Metal, what's up, dude? Not going to be predict. <laughs> all right, Kayla, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. Yo, Metal, what's up, buddy? Yo, Wick told me that uh, you were hanging out in his stream the other night, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. Met oh, Metal, I wanted to tell you, too. Metal, aren't you the one that posted the stuff about Berserk? And, um... Oh, you got to level 50? Sick, dude. 
Metal, aren't you the one that posted the stuff in uh, Discord about Berserk? Dude, I've been watching Berserk on Netflix, and it is awesome. It is awesome, dude. No, Wick doesn't stream. Oh, <laughs> watch OA, play video games, you know, let's go. The new one, dude. I'm pretty sure it's the new one. There's like, on Netflix, all I've found so far, there are, what is it, three different movies. Hold on. They look like pretty new animation, so I'm guessing it's the newer ones. Twenty thirteen, dude. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. There's like three three different parts, three different movies. Oh yeah, I love horror movies. That that's my jam, Kayla. That's my jam, horror movies are. I'm actually a huge Freddy Krueger fan. <laughs> I love Freddy, dude. <laughs> um Animations are pretty mediocre in comparison to the manga. Right on. Yeah, I knew that you posted about the manga and stuff. I just wanted to like I I was not I was not familiar about with Berserk at all. And I just knew that you had posted something recently and then all of a sudden they had put the Berserk uh those Berserk movies on Netflix and I was like, "Well, I'm going to take a look at this since Metal was talking about it." And uh dude, I'm really digging the movies. They're really good. So I bet the manga is excellent, dude. Thanks for the uh thanks for posting that stuff in Discord, dude. No, no, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. You know, that that's actually my tattoo artist uh, right now does uh, some really cool work. Some really cool work with like uh, dark horror-esque kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, understandably, the player was somewhat paralyzed by choice. So when it came to actually spending all 86 million of their newly acquired runes, uh, some commenters underneath the original post suggested laundering. Yeah, we read that. Uh, in, in actual fact, the player chose to restart the entire game. In a follow-up comment, they revealed that since runes lost all meaning, they still didn't want to lose them. They started a brand new character even after they purchased every single smithing stone item throughout Elden Ring. Certainly one way to go about guaranteeing you're set for weapon upgrades for the next 100 hours or so. Wow. Wow. Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah. Sick. Oh man, let me uh, let me pull something up. So I've always been a big fan of Freddy. My best friend, uh, he's like he's like my brother, man. Uh, he's always been a big Jason fan, so we've always had this like you know who's better kind of thing, like like a fun rivalry about it, right? I sent him a shirt. Uh, actually, my wife found it. My wife found it, and. Uh, we, we ordered it, uh, what was it, last year? And sent it to my buddy. Let me show you this. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. This is what... This is what we, we sent to him. It was like one of these. I, I, if you can see it. It's got Myers and Jason and Freddie and they're in a car. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going killing. He liked it. He liked it. We saw it. We saw it online. I think we got it off of Amazon, but we saw it online. And I was like, dude, we got to send that to my buddy. And, uh, 
he didn't know. He didn't know it was coming. So he got a kick out of it. He sent me a picture of him wearing it. Yeah. Michael Myers guy too. Yeah. Yeah, I love horror flicks, man. Love them. Michael was better than both of them. Touche. Touche. <sighs> Agree to disagree. All right. My thing is, um, this says friends on it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. My thing about uh, Freddy that I always loved was that he invaded people's dreams. I always thought that was really neat. Just know you're wrong. Okay. All right. That was the thing that always drew me to Freddy was that he invaded people's dreams. I always thought that was really cool. All right, that's pretty wild, man. 86 million runes, man, by invading and killing somebody in Elden Ring. Microsoft releases direct storage, a new era of fast load times and detailed worlds in PC games. 18 months ago, Microsoft re revealed that one of the most important advancements in its new Xbox Series X console would be coming to PC. The ability to stream tremendous amounts of data from a blazing fast NVMe uh, solid state drive to your uh, graphics card instead of relying on your pesky... Um, processor to decompress it first so-called direct storage api would let games load more detailed worlds and load them more quickly than before now now Mac, microsoft says the direct storage api has arrived right yeah yeah i mean uh that was again always one of the things i've always had real wild like vivid dreams um and uh so i think that's one of the reasons that like um I always was just kind of drawn to the premise of of uh, Freddy and, and how he went at people and stuff like that. I always thought it was really wild. Um, starting today, Windows games can ship with direct storage. This public SDK release begins a new era of fast load times and detailed worlds in PC games by allowing developers to more fully utilize the speed of the latest storage devices. Wild. It completely bypasses the processor. Goes straight to the graphics card. Hmm. So from your storage to your RAM to VRAM and then into uh, your graphics card. Wild. It, it'll work with Windows 10, not just Windows 11. Even though Microsoft says that Windows, of course, uh, Microsoft's going to say Windows 11 is their recommended path for gaming. I am not switching to Windows 11 uh, until I basically don't have support for 10 anymore. I'll just say that. Before you rush out to find a game to fully take advantage of that speedy NVMe 4.0 stick drive, incompatible motherboard though, you should know the games aren't available yet. Yeah. Being your own Windows 11? Metal, you're using it too? My thing is, look, I'm an IT guy, right? What I'm, what I'm worried about is, and obviously because I use my computer every single day to stream and uh, that's what I do right now. Uh, I've got everything working pretty well. Went back to 10. Okay. Okay. Um, traditionally, Windows versions suck every other iteration. Yeah. So it's like. One will be good, the next will be bad. The next will be, you know, decent, the next will be bad. The next will be decent, the next will be bad. Um, that's kind of the way it's worked. And 10, I feel like, has been pretty good. That's that's actually really smart. Being. I actually run a mirrored configuration. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, M.2 NVMe uh, Samsung drives uh, in this PC that... Uh, 
I don't put any of my games, I don't put any of my programs really on either of those drives. It's just strictly for my OS and it's in a RAID mirrored configuration. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, it's just traditionally the way it works. I haven't looked into 11 really yet. Uh, I just, uh, 10 feels really good. And until they start pulling support for 10 and quit putting patches out for it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Kayla. <laughs> sorry, Kayla. Um, then I, I'm, I'm not really going to buy into it. Um, hopefully it's good. But I, I don't know much about it at this point either. But that's just kind of the way it's always worked. And I'm not going to jump. The thing also is like um, 11, Windows 11 is very new, right? So they're still going to be working on figuring out certain things. That's just the way the new operating systems always work, man. And... Right now, everything flows very well for me uh, using Windows 10, and I'm not going to switch till I have to, just in case, just in case. Uh, for Spoken, so uh, for Spoken got delayed, if you guys didn't know, it was supposed to be coming out in May, and it got pushed back to October. Uh, for Spoken is Square Enix's new game that's coming out, yeah? I have a friend that's still on 8.1. Oh, oh, disgusting. That's not a friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> metal, metal. Now, get rid of that's you gotta get rid of that guy or girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But that's horrible, dude. Windows 8 was trash, man. In my opinion, Windows 8, and I'm not the only one I know. Windows 8 was just horrific. And they were making Windows 8 because they were trying to do the whole mobile thing, and and they were like, we're gonna make this operating system that works on both. Windows 8 was horrid. It was an abomination, man. It was just so bad. I had a desktop that I tried to throw it on uh, again because just because I, I'm in the IT, you know, career field and everything and, and try. Oh, I hated it. God, it was so bad. Especially going from something that was so nice like Windows 7. I loved Windows 7. And then going from Windows 7 to Windows 8, it was like, bleh. it was a nightmare. Um, so direct storage is being used in Forspoken though. Okay, cool. Direct storage, dude. That's, that's actually really cool, man. Technology, baby. Let's go. Stalker 2 renamed a heart of Chernobyl to reflect Ukrainian spelling. Due to the two countries, uh, histories, certain elements of language are politically charged. Um, Russian forces have invaded Ukraine and the war has now been ongoing for 19 days. Stalker developer C, uh, GSC Game World is based in the Ukrainian capital city. Uh, dude, I will probably butcher this. Kyiv? Am I? Is that correct? Kyiv? Which is currently under attack since the beginning of the war has condemned the inhuman cruelty of the invasion and paused development on Stalker 2. Uh, today, the, the steam, I only, I, I never hear anybody, uh, pronounce this. I only ever read it. So that's why I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, today, the, the Steam entry for Stalker 2 was updated and it has changed the sequel subtitle of The Heart of Chernobyl. Changes affected most of its Steam entries and description. The original Heart of Chernobyl spelling can still be seen on promotional art and some listings. No statement about the change, but the reason behind it is almost certainly that Chernobyl is the Ukrainian spelling for the region, whereas Chernobyl is the Russian spelling. Gotcha. Makes sense, man. Um, real quick, real quick. I know we're going a bit long with news and stuff, but we're almost done. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. Here's what I'll say, Metal. I, uh... I think I know what you're talking about, but I kind of wondered if they were doing that on purpose a little bit. And, and here's another thing. Um, I am not a very talented artist as far as painting and drawing and things like that. 
So even something that looks maybe a little wonky in something like that uh, Berserk movie, I'm going to uh, enjoy. <laughs> because I appreciate it, yeah? Uh, it's still very good art in my opinion. I understand what you're saying. Uh, there were some times where stuff looked a bit skewed or, or like uh, apart from what a lot of the other art looked in the game right the animation and stuff i think that's what you're probably talking about i think i i i think i can remember some of those parts um i think they might have just i think they might have done that a little bit on purpose i'm not sure that's just what i assumed um but for the most part i felt like i enjoyed i enjoyed the the artwork quite a bit i'll say it wasn't to the extent that i enjoyed the the animation and the art in something like arcane but I felt it was pretty good. It's uh, it's it's a, a world apart from anything that I could create, so I, I appreciate it anyways. <laughs> the Astro A10 uh, Gen 2 gaming headset has launched with an all new overhaul design, packaging even more functionality into an increasingly accessibly priced gaming headset. Um, I've heard good things about Astro headsets, and um. Hi, is it Hyper? Is that the other headsets? Hyper Cloud? Is that? Hyper X, Hyper X. These are the other ones. Um, I review, uh, anytime I'm in the market to buy anything tech-wise, I do a good amount of reviewing. I use a set of Sony myself. I'm not big about having a, a microphone hang out in front of my face. I'm not big about that. I've got a, a uh, stationary microphone here on my desk that I use. Um, so I'm not big about having a microphone hang out in front of my face. Um, but from what I've read, uh, it's kind of hard to go wrong with like HyperX. And Astro does a pretty good job as well. Um, oh, really, Bean? Oh, that sucks, dude. That's like, yeah, I don't have any experience with either one. I've really enjoyed these. Um, these are the um, Sony, what are these? Yeah, I mean, and I can I can definitely understand that as well, uh, Metal. You know, if, if the manga is like, you know, the art in that is much, much better than you're going to go into watching the show expecting something on par with what the artwork in the manga was, right? And not getting that is going to make you feel a bit mad about it, yeah? So, yeah, I get that. I understand that. But I just, I didn't really look at any of the manga stuff beforehand. I just knew, I saw where you had posted stuff and were like, this is a really good manga. I just hadn't had time to look into it. And usually what I'll do is whenever I'm laying down to go to sleep, I'll turn something on. Um to start watching. I don't stay awake very long, but I'll get bits and pieces of it every night while I fall asleep, you know, and, and, uh, that's what I've been doing is watching a little bit of berserk. Yeah. 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 The music's very good. I agree. Yeah. Um, Bean, that's actually, that's, that's good to know, dude. That's good to know. I had heard really good stuff about, uh, hyper X, but maybe, maybe the, uh, you know, build quality is kind of trash. Uh, I've really enjoyed these. I think these are around a hundred dollar set of headphones. What are these? The seven hundreds. Um, let me see real quick. I mean, I'll promote these just because I've used them for quite a while and I enjoy them quite a bit. The noise canceling on them isn't like superb. I'll say that. Just a second. Yeah, these are the ones I have. These are these are what I use. Um, what I what I was really looking for as far as the headset was concerned was something that could be wireless or uh, three point five millimeter wired. That's a big deal to me. Um, I prefer my headsets being wired in. 
Um, but I also, if I wanted, needed to take a trip or something like that, and I wanted to, you know, have my headset for Bluetooth or whatever, um, and these kind of fit the bill for me. Now, they're like a $100 set, but if you get them on sale, you can usually get them for around like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. And I've really enjoyed them, and I haven't had any issues with them or anything like that, so I'll promote these. But I was just uh, kind of talking about some of the ones that I had reviewed whenever I was in the market for these and had seen, um, what was the other, uh, not, it's not Arctic, it's, uh, I always want to call them Arctic. Bean, what do you use? Is it still series? It's still series. Still series. Arctis. Arctis. Uh, still Arctis. Still series are supposed to be some good ones too. But uh, some of these uh, Arctis ones can really get up there. Just some of the reviewing I had done, like about a year and a half ago. Microsoft Bluetooth headset. Do you like it? But um, the Astro A10 appears to continue Astro's gaming reputation for high performance audio and features an extremely flexible polymer headband. Astro Gaming recently tweeted the launch saying the all new redesigned A10 headset has landed. Oh, and Metal, you've been rocking the HyperX Cloud 2 for a good couple of years now? Good. Good. That's good. I mean, I've I've read really good reviews. I've uh, I've never tried HyperX, um, but I've read really good stuff about them. Uh, being that sucks that you had uh, not had a, a good experience with the HyperX, but Metal, I'm glad you have. Yeah, I would say anybody in the market, I think you should do some reviewing, probably across Astro, HyperX, and um, Arctis probably, uh, for a, like, if you're, especially if you're in the, like for a budget mid range to a budget set, you can probably find a pretty good set, uh, from one of those, those, uh, brands. Yeah. From the reviews I've seen there, there, they make some, one of those companies, you'll probably be able to find a decent set of uh, headsets. Um, all right. Astro's got a new gen two, a 10 gen, gen two coming out. PlayStation, this will be the last one, then we'll get into Elden Ring. Sorry, news is going long today, guys. PlayStation State of Play focusing on Hogwarts Legacy announced. Uh, PlayStation has officially announced a new State of Play that will be entirely dedicated to upcoming video game Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, uh, we've kind of been waiting on this. Apparently, the uh, Hogwarts Legacy has... The devs of the game have been ready to... show more about it and kind of announce more about the game for months now but playstation has held them back yeah uh wands at the ready for an all-new state of play focused on hogwarts legacy uh thursday march 17th at 2 p.m pacific yo i didn't click on that i guess i must have but so thursday at okay okay Like 4, 4 p.m. for us, I think. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. We'll have to see uh, what's up with... Yeah, yeah, it'll be 5 p.m. Eastern. Yep, Bean. Yep, yep. It'll be 4 p.m. Uh, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yep. Yeah, it even says it right here, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so we'd read previously that apparently this game, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, was they've been ready to announce stuff about this game for a long time, but PlayStation's been holding them back, saying we're not ready to announce <laughs> to the dev. So I don't know, man. Kind of wild. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Oh, man. Ready? Mm. 
Let's go. We're gonna go back to Volcano Manor right away. We got another contract completed. We'll go see what we get. Killed the second boss in Dark Souls 3 after an hour and a half total playtime. Nice, dude. I, I haven't played DS3. The last main boss I beat um oh god what was her name dude was she a main boss i don't know uh so i mean we beat godric and merrick and um where let me show you on the map god if i can even remember where it is Where did we fight that other boss? I can't even remember now, dude. Holy crap, this place is so big. Go back to Sekiro after a DS. That's another one I need to play as Sekiro, dude. I've only played DS1 and some Demon Souls. Um, but yeah, I've heard great things about Sekiro. Let, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if... Uh... Oh, I gotta change my mouse up. Yeah, we killed Margaret and Godric. And uh, there was another... There was a... Uh... It was like a knight on a horse. And a... A room with a bunch of... Oh, I know where it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know where it is. I gotta change my mouse up real quick. There we go. Yeah, I know where it is. I'll go there real quick. So I killed this boss. Academy Gate. Church. Ranella, yes, Bean killed Ranella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not remember uh, the name. Sorry. Yeah, killed Ranella. Um, have I killed anybody else? I don't know that I've killed anybody else yet. Let's take a look at my items real quick. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm kind of like working my way there. I got to the Volcano Manor stuff and kind of got sidetracked, dude. <laughs> yeah. Radagon. Um, Radagon's gone. Okay. Um, I shouldn't have gotten equipment inventory. Was there anything? I, as far as other main bosses, I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. I love how wild it looks putting these things on. They are definitely not for our build, but it looks hilarious putting those on. Uh, 
Okay, let's let's take a travel to uh, Volcano Manor, yeah? Didn't mean to do that. I am bat fingering everything. We'll start this off. We'll start this off. So there's a choice. A A B. Oh, dude, are you still sticking with the uh, the golden halberd, man? I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Got another task. Please. Serpent Bone Blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor. Okay. Lord Reichard. The Erd Tree blessed the tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling. Oh, okay. Like Did you have you gotten buying for power Hold in on. the wake of the shattering? Our Lord indignant has refused to scurry about fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us if the earth tree and indeed the very gods would debase us so then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance even if it means heresy we at the volcano manor under lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done if you follow this heroic path one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always always a spectacle. I bet. Come a day too soon. <laughs> okay, so oh, that's cool, Bean. That's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I figure that's kind of why. I, I mean, again, I'm just like kind of stacking strength and endurance. And putting some into vigor to keep the health going a bit too, but mainly just strength and endurance, man. That way, as we keep coming across better to hopefully, I haven't really found another two handed weapon yet, but I figure at some point before too long, I probably will that I'll want to change out to. Um, but endurance for sure, because I'm trying to stay in a mid roll with some really chonky uh, equipment on, yeah. Now, have you did you come across this yet? Where is it? Giza's will? Have you? Did you see me get that yesterday? Okay. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Um, it causes blood loss buildup. Did you see me get it? Did you see me test it yesterday? I can't remember if you were around. I'm not going to tell you how to get it or anything. I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm not going to tell you how to get it or anything. Um, unless you want to know, and I'll tell you. But check this out, dude. Check this out. This thing is wild. We'll go up here real quick. Are we fat rolling now, baby? Hopefully nothing invades us. Okay. Check this thing out, dude. So, first of all, it causes blood loss buildup on hit, right? So, oh, dude, put it back. God, I hate that. I always hit R because I want to um, read the description, but I forget that I'm in the wrong menu. There we go. So, great iron will lined with flesh flame blades, device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. As the will spins, it causes severe pain and blood loss. Design was adopted for use as the iconic weapon wielded by iron virgins. Unique skill, spinning will. Strike the will against the ground to set it spinning at top speed. Hold this hold to keep the wheel spinning can be used while walking to push the armament into enemies check this out dude check this out this is wild man uh let's get too handy going again ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Isn't that cool, dude? Yeah, it's like a chainsaw, man. I love it. I love it. I really want to try to use it. So, I don't know. I might just play around with some PvP with it or something. You know what I mean? It's not going to be something that's really... Because it's really slow, right? You're, you're not going to be able to, like, keep it spinning. And, unless you knock somebody down and then you put it over them and just sit there and, like, you know, really wreck them out with it. But... Uh, it's a that's a pretty cool weapon, man. I got it and I was like, oh, that looks like fun, you know, and it looks really cool too. New. No, dude. What? Oh, it's not letting me do this because... Hold on. There we go. There we go. Yo, uh, guys, give me just a second. I'm going to grab some coffee, take a quick bio break, and then we're really going to push an Elden Ring. Cool. Sorry, but I need to grab some coffee. And take a quick break, okay? I'll be right back. You guys are amazing. Thanks for being here.
All right, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Lurk, yeah, Bean, lurk away, buddy. <laughs> sorry guys. I had to brush the uh, the beard out too, man. I forgot to do it this morning before the stream, man. It's important, it's important. Brush that beard out. I've got to comb my mustache out, man, because we're growing it out for the handlebar, you know what I mean? Uh. Beard. Uh. No, no, no. Okay, can't. What else we got? New thing. Red letter. Uh oh. Oh, she's gone, dude. She's gone, Zs. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table. Oh, this is going to get wild. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. He is going to wombo us. It's going to be just terrible. Um... Where is yeah okay? A written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Bernal, disclosing the names of two tarnished to be hunted: uh, Vargram the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. Both men can be found in the royal capital of Lyondell. Lyondell, sorry. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted. As the final requ request, the letter is vivid red. Juno Hoslow, Knight of Blood. You can find me in the blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Okay. You're still alive. We need to learn this. Well, until we meet again. That was weird. Um, Okay. You're still alive. Swords, axes, and hammers. Cool. No, we're, we're gonna buy this. Very nice. Well. Okay. Until we meet again. Yeah, so we're gonna have to fight him. I knew we would. I knew we would. Oh, Salamander? Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite It's that girl. 
brave tarnished. This is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zorias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My serpentine a secret. Now I share this. Please keep them. Okay. Wild. Bye bye. That was a bit weird. So I can't get in here, yeah? Door's blocked shut. Okay. If you follow this heroic path, it cannot come. The girl, Raya. Ah. With her okay, I was wondering. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. We got a pet. The young Zarias. Her flame salamander is the purity of her heart honestly I hardly deserve the sweet child I mean we are a wolf turtle so please her true vi please her true visit hmm now let's go back and talk to her again and see what happens if anything probably nothing but my serpent a secret now I said please keep them okay cool what about you you have anything to say about this oh not had you fill eh well, okay hunt what is in that room okay now Make sure there's nothing new up here. I like that we can't even jump on these, these tables are made of uh, styrofoam, apparently. We are a hefty boy, let's, uh, or girl. Be honest. Make sure we can't open this other room down here. Yeah. Cannot open from this side, okay. So, our map now shows that and that. Huh. Wild. We were already here, too. Um, let's go uncover this map. How about that? Let's start trying to, to, to uncover this map real quick, and then we're going to probably uh, progress through this Volcano Manor stuff a little bit more.
Oh! Is it that way? Uh, wild. Okay. What is, uh... No, oh, dude. I was trying to pull the lever, man. Place looks like it's gonna be fun. Okay, um, we can't do this. Is there not a giant up here anymore? Oh yeah, we have another. F we have a. So this giant's gone. Giant got got. We can't turn this on, right? Yeah. Okay. Where was... Take me here. Take me here. There's a uh, stone sword key we need to use to start a fight down here, I'm pretty sure. That is not correct. It was... Crap. All right, let's just go up. We'll use the elevator. Skip that. Game? Okay, yeah. Is it down here? You gotta get that death counter up. <laughs> Emotional damage. Okay. I probably need a uh, an F emote, huh? Yeah, I need to make an F emote. I die a lot. Yeah. Okay, let's try not to do this again, the way that it just happened. It is down there. Um, now. Okay. Just a matter of being patient.
Okay, there's a statue of Marika here. That's good. Stone Sword Key, let's go. Let's have a fight this morning. Give me a break, dude. That was close. Oh no, I'm on the wrong one, dude. Bro. Fighting Godric again? Are you serious? Godfroy. This sucks, dude. Am I gonna be here all day long? Oh, give me a break, man. Sucks. Emotional damage. I got stuck on those rocks, man. It wouldn't let me roll um, where I wanted to roll. Felt bad. So I think the thing here is it doesn't. Uh, 
this enemy doesn't go into like the second phase, so it's just a matter of just beating the, the first phase mechanics of basically the Godfrey fight. Yeah. What the crap are you doing? Cocoa Puffs? So we'll get it. We'll get it. I, I thought we were getting there that time, but I got Womboed. I was trying to roll out, man. I was trying to roll out. I just couldn't roll backwards. I got stuck. Oh, this way. I was like, where? Disagree, game. Ever, dude, that's some crap. Yeah, he's really trying to wombo me out with that stupid. I hate that. Enough potions for this, man. Get hit too much. No, I'm good. I hate that flipping attack, dude. Good. Yep.
Can't believe we got out of that one. Buddy. So tanky. Holy crap. I just got to get good and quit getting hit so much. I've been greedy. I've been trying to get multiple hits in in areas where I shouldn't be trying to get multiple hits in. Not unless I, I'm like close to actually melting him anyways. Ah... Uh. Oh, miss? Okay. Bro, what are you talking about? Feels good, thanks. something what was that Bad. I knew better. I knew better, man. I'm good, buddy. And again.
No. Oh no, dude. I felt terrible. Oh. Damage. Here's the thing. We're going to come back here whenever it doesn't take 40 hits with a two-handy weapon, dude, to, to kill this bro. I just... I don't want to sit here. He's so flipping chonky, man. He's just so chonky. We'll we'll, we'll come back here. Um, let's mark this. We're gonna come back here. It's doable right now. It's just kind of painful because he's got so much flipping life, dude. Um. So this right here, we will mark with a... A goat. Alright. The goat. Moving on. A new weapon, a little bit more powerful, maybe, or like a couple more weapon upgrades or something to where it'll take uh, at least a, a little bit less time to kill this guy. It just makes sense. Let me see here. Um, let's go. here first get some maps yeah did I even emotional damage that emotional damage I don't know <laughs> well, there's a dude just sitting down up there. Is he, is he an evil dude? Talk to Melina. further till the foot of the earth tree and the accord is fulfilled it takes me back i was born at the foot of the earth tree where mother gave me my purpose though now everything is lost to me i have to ascertain for myself the reason for which i live burned and bodiless ah uh. Okay. Yeah. 
Um. Shall I turn your wounds to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts. By Melina. Homie's got a bow. Let's go get this map first. What is that? Oh. A beastie. It's a map. Yup. Take that off. Now we need to go grab this one as well. Um, kind of what I want to do is just press. Uh, so we could try to go this way, but it looks like this is going to be a drop. This looks bad. Could go around it. Let's just see what we're in for here. Let's go kill this archer, bro. What is all that? Wild. Archer, bro. We'll come back and talk to you. Bro. I thought we were going to be able to stun lock him. He came out with something a little quicker. <laughs> All right. That's fine. That's the way he wants to play it. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, what? I didn't even... Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. I didn't even see that. Righteous. You know what? I'm just gonna... Old thing. Are you flipping kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Are I'm rolling backwards, man. No drops? Shenanigans. Oh, I died too. Emotional damage.
Is that a merchant? Let's go look around here. Merchant or enemy? Beast bloods. Okay. Let's just go through this place. Uh, we'll go ahead and just... Ah, idiot. Sketchy, yeah? Lots of arrows. Holy crap. Lots of arrows. Bro, what is that? Oh, there's so much to find and see in the game, dude. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, wait, what? That's a... <laughs> I thought we were Dunzies. Wow. All right, we'll fight them. That's okay. Flasks. Nice. Charges. Nice. Now we got 11. Let's go. And let's get the map. Fighting these guys should be fun. Um, this is, yeah, we've had this for a while, but that's a kind of stuck point between a portal and an elevator we have to activate. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Um, what do you say? We go try to take out these these guys? That was some intense music, huh? Go for it? Yeah, I agree, chat. Thanks. What? You guys get up here? Oh, yes. That was rude. Oh, you both want some, huh? Ah! We're gonna tr try to cheese this out. Feels bad.
bad. Oh, dude, give me a break. You guys are supposed to let me cheese. Come on, cheesies. Come on. Where you at? Coming back. Coming back. Okay. I missed? What? cheese back crap <laughs> I'm trying to cheese him dude two of these guys is gonna be brutal and hey, what's up the jizzle oh here might be the play um, let's see if we get creative first of all Bro, what? Nice hitbox, butthole. I need to get rid of these stupid bots. They suck, dude. I love that they alternate uh, attacks. Can you please come back to where I can hit you? I can't get in, uh, a hit in now. It's like, all, all they just keep wamboing me, man. This sucks. Um. Buddy. How many bolt, how many great bolts do I have? Hey, 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 everybody chill. Can I, can I mess around with my equipment, please? Where is it, dude? No, dude. There we go. What? Oh, that's why. Okay. That didn't hit. Oh, I'm out of bolts? Bro, what? Oh, these are just, those aren't great bolts. Loading up? What? Okay, dude. What? 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 Am I not understanding the way this equipment works? I'm not, I'm not, uh, I haven't done this arrow stuff yet. Okay, here we go. Yo, 
Remove, remove, remove. It has to shoot great bolts. Why is it not shooting great bolts? Whoa, that was close. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, Mad, what's up, dude? Hey, how are you, man? Dude, it's so good to see you. Oh, man, I fell off. We're cheesing out some Sentinels, dude. Get wrecked. Oh, that missed both? Are you kidding me? Nice! What's up with you, dude? Same build? Yeah, we're big old two-handy. Big two-handy. Nice, there we go. Yeah, we're just cheesing these guys out a little bit. I got 12 bolts left. Uh, this probably is not the greatest play in the world. We'll figure it out though. I've got some, some throws too. Erect. I got some throwy darts too. Erect. Oh! God, I hate that. Mad, what's up with you, buddy? This, uh, every time I shoot this, it knocks me backwards. I keep forgetting. Are we cheesing, baby? Direct. Coming back home? Oh, dude, that's so good to hear, man. I'm so happy. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yo, happy Tuesday, Bujizzle and Mad. Happy Tuesday, guys. Mad, that's some great news, buddy. Will you guys be still, please? Uh, how am I supposed to shoot you if you're running around? Get wrecked. We're just going to take this slow. Get wrecked. Yeah, get locked in there. There we go. Man. Okay. You know what's really going to suck is if something, like, wonky happens and I end up getting wamboed. <laughs> Yo, get off the horse, man. What the crap? I'm just going to try to play this as, uh... There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's a... Yo, where'd the other tree sentinel go, dude? What? It... It... It lost aggro? That's weird. Yeah, yeah, it could be, but I don't want it to, like, regain health or something, like, in, in a weird uh, game mechanic, you know what I mean? That's what would suck. Bro, where are you going? Oh, hey, buddy, yo! Oh. Yeah, stuff like that, man, feels bad. Homie, over here. What? My guy, come over here. I knew better than to shoot that right thing. There we go. Three left.
This guy's going crazy. Uh, that didn't hit. Sick dodge, man. Uh, 55. 55, dude. Yeah. There we go. We'll use this last one, and then I'm going to throw some knives at him to take him down. <laughs> We're, we're gonna cheese this out. We're gonna cheese it. Get wrecked. Okay. Cheese it out. Okay, first of all, let's go back into our equipment. Let's remove that. We'll go ahead and get our sword out just for being prepared purposes. Yeah, level 55, dude. Level 55. I'll show you all of our stuff here in a second. Let me let me get this guy uh, wamboed out real quick. Let me kill this guy. Don't want to use these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's use these, probably. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you have to have a dex? Oh, dude, the only thing I can throw are these. Okay, that's fine. Get wrecked. I hate, hate, hate. How it makes me move every time I do something like that. Ah! I'm wasting so many uh, things, dude. Hoping your honing fails is pretty rude, man. I'm an idiot. Here's the play. Here's the play. Okay, dude, I'm done. I'm done. I'm stuck? Wick, why so rude, dude? Why so rude?
Come on, baby. Yo, targeting, please. That's, it's so absurd. I used way too many resources right there. Yeah, I'm mad. Just saying, I'll pull up the map. Now, one of those should be dead now, right? I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't drop anything. I, I didn't get anything from that. Um... Yeah, here's the map, dude. Here's my map so far. For top side, anyways. Oh, are you serious? You have to kill both? Oh, well. I'll do it. We figured it was... Well, see, then that's so stupid that one can unaggro and just run away and the other one can stay aggro. That doesn't make any sense, then. If it's the same boss... How do they have two different aggros on them? Hey, shut your pie hole, buddy. That's stupid. That's why I was like, well, I'll do, go get my potions back and kill the other one, too. That doesn't make any sense. If they should have the same, uh, they should share aggro, if that's the case. If they're both a boss together, they should share aggro. That's dumb. But yeah, there's the map, dude. Uh, Riverside. This is all we really have right now. We're currently doing... Um, Volcano Manor stuff. So, I've got a couple of Volcano Manors that I need to work on. Yep. Well, whatever, let's go. That's so stupid, dude. Like, where did the other one even go? What the crap? Nice. Real nice. Yep. Yep. Well, it wasted a lot of resources there. Thank you. They share aggro on console? I bet they do. I bet they do. I'm not even gonna mess with this now. I wasted so many resources, it pisses me off, man. Of course they share aggro on console. I know you're memeing out right now, but... I know you're lolling. I know you're lolling. Whatever. We're just gonna keep going. We'll come back and kill them. I wasted too many resources. It feels stupid. Feels stupid, man. Um, actually, let me see something. Yeah, whatever. Um, we'll come back and fight them. I kind of want to get this, uh... We need to get all the search out. 
Yeah, super annoying. Well, that sucks too. Like, I mean, in in, in one case, it's like, okay, if if you knew that you had to kill both of them, I mean, I guess it, it makes a little bit of sense if you're if you're uh, a big Soulsborne aficionado. Like, okay, there, there's like the boss music and stuff, yeah, but they're not a boss in the traditional sense. They're more like mini bosses, yeah. Yeah, I forget about that because I'm not playing online. You know what I mean? I'm playing in single person. Yeah. Um, so, I yeah, it makes sense in that capacity. But it's also kind of just in the way that it, it, it just worked out for me. It's like, okay, I got I got rid of one of them. Then it, it just, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me why... <laughs> If one can lose aggro and just disengage. Yo, Psych, what's up, buddy? Disengage from the fight? Why would... Both of them need to be killed at the same time for the boss... Or for like this... For both of them to be gone it, sitting at a point of grace. You know what I mean? That was my logic behind it anyways. It just didn't make sense. Oh, oh, oh. Not much, man. Another day, another day, baby. Right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go this entire playthrough without doing that kind of stuff too, though. Trying to just take everything myself. No, no help. <laughs> Whether it be actual online people or NPC help. I haven't used any so far. I don't plan on it. I don't know. Just the way I want to play the game. Um, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you like what percentage of the game I have completed. I feel. I feel like that's really hard too because even as far as like what map I a uh, part portion of the map I haven't co uncovered. That still doesn't really give a real good idea of how complete complete the game is because there's so the the, the world is flipping huge, man. It's huge. Emotional damage. Um I figured I missed one in there somewhere, so <laughs> let's keep it up. I'll go guy. So I need to come back this way anyways, because we just found uh God It wasn't Godfrey. It's like uh, Godfrey's twin or whatever. Uh, and he's super chonky, dude. He's got a ton of life. I want to get a weapon upgrade or two before we go back and fight him. And then we'll do these guys at the same time. Let's just keep searching around. We just got into this area. I really want to do some searching and, and see what we can find. I don't know, man. I have no idea how, like, how to even tell, like... How much of the game we have done right now. I will say that the past couple of days that we've played the game feels uh, feels good. Like I feel like we've gotten quite a bit done. Hey dojis. Don't mind me. Everything's cool. And I'm not planning on like 100%ing the game or anything. I'm just really enjoying, um, oh nice. I'm really enjoying just like searching out the world. They did a good job with the world build. What is this? Oh, golden centipedes too, dude. Let's go. Nice. Uh, the world is huge. Yeah, yeah, I'm mad. I can understand that. I can understand that. <laughs> yeah, all good, buddy. All good. It's really good to see you, buddy. So, not not looking 100% it. Just having fun searching everything out and seeing what we can find. And, and really hoping that sometime soon we'll actually find a new 
I like this weapon, but I feel like it's a powerful early game two-handy. I'm hoping we'll find a new two-handed weapon before too long. Like a mid mid-game, nice, powerful two-hand weapon to start using. We've been finally finding some really nice uh, weapon or armors to use and stuff, which is has been nice. Uh, here, hold on. I need to see. What did we just get? What was that? Let's let's see what we got here. Nah. Nah. I don't think it was one of those, no. I was I was talking too much, man. We'll find it. Oh, right there. Oh, it was a, uh, yeah, okay. Wild. We obviously won't be using that, I don't think, but uh, we'll read about it real quick. A formless sacred seal depicting the ceremonial uh, observation, sorry, of, of order. Enhances golden order fundamentalist incantations. Fundamentalism is scholarship in all but name. Scales incantations using both intellect or intelligence and faith. Okay. So an int and faith build uh, could scale off of that. Wild. Okay. Well, that's a whole thing. Let's talk to Melina real quick. See if she has anything new. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent. To search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Outer Order. Okay. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I mean, looking back at the uh, the uh, the fight we were just doing, I mean, it makes sense that they both needed to be killed before you rested at a side of grace. I just, I don't know, didn't see it as a major boss fight, so I don't know, man. I three-headed it, I guess. Three-head, dude. Three head for the win. That's what we do, right, chat? Three head forever. What is this? Oh, that was real cool, man. Nice, uh, nice juke, buddy. Smoldering butterflies. Yeah, all good, psych. I might die. Okay. So, keep searching around. We got that. Oh, that's the other side of the wall, wild. Hmm. Okay. Get a feel for what what might be around here, yeah. Missed. I suck. Uh, 
Oh, oh yeah, okay. Dojis. I'm sure there's nothing foreboding up here at all. Nothing dangerous. Yeah. Everything should be real cool, real chill. Aha. Uh -huh. We need to go search. Oh, God. I got to go down there. I hate these things. Yo, what is that? What is... Oh, is that a wolf? Nothing dangerous in the rings of Elden? No. No, no, no. That'd be... That'd be bonkers. Oh, am I dead? Oh, my gosh, dude. Uh, that was sketchy. The Skechers. Nothing dangerous, no. I saw a thing running around down here we gotta kill. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Everything wants to be friends. Everything just wants hugs. Oh, those things are tanky. Holy crap. Everything here is a bit tanky now. Yeah, we need upgrades. Uh-oh. Mom? Mom? Nice! Super tanky, dude. Holy crap. Uh, he can't see me. Turn around, buddy. Everything's fine. Sir? Uh, yep. Hello? Oh, dude, tell me this is a, uh... Dude, I haven't seen a mimic yet! Bell? Baron? What? What is that? Offer to twin maiden husks for new item access. Sick, dude. Okay, nice. All right, very cool, very cool. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Dude, another secret door. We're so good. Intuition, dude. My spidey senses are just going nuts. You know? Spidey senses going crazy. Oh, I thought this was going to go up. Uh, that's... Dude, there are just secret walls everywhere in here, yeah? Wild. Oh, this is a bit sketchy. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay. Wow. 
Why? What is this? Why? There's another one over there. I see it. Uh, which way should I go right now? There is a ladder that goes up. Yes. Um, that feels bad. I'm guessing there are probably a lots of enemies down there that don't play nice. Um, Let me go underneath there. Oh no! No, what? See, it just wants hugs. Oh, smithing stone five, sick. We out, we out, we out, we out, we out. What is going on right there? What is that? Yep. Keep going, baby. <laughs> yeah, there's something downstairs here still. Um... I hate fighting those things wreck, dude. Let's look around first. Let's look around. Rude? How did you even know I was coming here, man? What? Gloves, stone sword key, sick. Nice, nice, nice. I knew there was going to be a big enemy down there, too, man. I knew it. All right, what's in here? More smoke throwers. Oh. Oh. All right, um, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Well, like two or three minutes. I'll be right back. Okay.
All right, sorry guys. Keep it, keep it moving, keep it moving. So, no go that way. We're fighting something here, yeah? Um. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to go back at this point and see what that statue was about now. God, I hate these enemies, man, so much. I didn't notice a prompt before. Bro, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, that sucked. I'm dead. Emotional damage. I love how it was like right on me as soon as I dropped down there. Not a hesitation, man. You gotta be kidding me, dude. It started me here. Uh, because we probably weren't in range of the whatever. Feels good. Bye. Moving stone fives, dude, and a pickaxe? What? Oh, homie, I couldn't even see you. What was that? God, they're like little gnomes. Full of, like, upgrade stones? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Bruh. Miss? What? Okay, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Homie, I can't see you. They're they're like camo, man. It's it's insane. Another dude from where? Where is it? What the crap, these little guys. I'm not even sure what to do with that. Ah! Whoa! 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 Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I went the wrong way. I can't climb, apparently. Did it wreck those things? That's awesome. Oh, hey. There's got to be something to do with that statue, man. Why else would it be shining like that, dude? I got to kill this thing. Yo, I got to kill this thing. Suck. Oh, okay.
Oh, really? Straight through the flipping ladder, dude. I was like, I'll just kite it through the ladder. To where it won't be able to go through, it went straight through the ladder. Pull the lever, bro. Oh, what an execution! That was sick. Alright, here's the play. We will move forward for now. We need to remember there's something going on with that statue, though. I've got to figure out what's up with that statue. We'll have to go back down there. For now, I'll just go. Go this way. Oh, no, no, no. Forgot about those. Oh, crap. Feels bad. That's a levitating board, that's fun. Race mimic. Yep. See you. More smithing stones. Feels bad. That camera angle though, that's pretty brutal. Oh no, did I ruin that? No, I'm an idiot, dude. Oh crap. I was thinking about it as soon as I fell off of that too. I need to die. I need to get whatever that is, man. We'll die and then drop down the other way. It's fine. It's fine. Now, I, my game has been kind of bugged uh, with going to the stakes. We'll see if it if it works. Okay, this one worked. Nice. Very cool, very cool. 
Bro. That was good, thanks. Not much, but something. Open room nine, okay. That works. This seems very sketchy, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. So, boss fight? Yep. Onyx Lord. Bye bye, Onyx Lord. Onyx Lord's great sword? Oh, I never looked at this either. Um, I, serpent Bone Blade. Let's read about this real quick. Sinister Katan, a model after the Serpent Bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Double Slash. Skill of Superior Swordsman performs a cross-slashing attack from a low stance. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. That is sick, man. That is really cool. Great Sword. Forged from golden-hued meteoric ore. The blade conceals gravity-manipulating magic, a weapon unique to the Onyx Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who are said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Unique skill, Onyx Lords Repulsion. Thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, this attack sends enemies flying. Wild. Okay. Um, this is not going to be a strength-only Yeah. Strength, Dex, Intelligence. Yeah, you made it back, Mad. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Wombo, the, uh, the Onyx guy. Uh, Onyx Lord. But this is a really cool weapon, but it's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We'll just keep pressing. We wombo'd. I had actually uh, already fought at one of the, um, what do you call these things? Uh, these little arena type 
trials out here that you find in the world. I'd already fought a different version of him. This version was... Are they prisons? Is that what they're called? I can't remember. Evergoal. Royal Grave. Evergoal. Evergoal. That's what they're called. Evergoals? The Evergoals. Um... You call them prisons? Okay. <laughs> hey, whatever works, man. I couldn't remember what they were called, so it's fine with me. So that takes us back to the entrance. We still haven't discovered everything inside this place, but we need to go grab this point for sure, which we don't have yet, right? Yeah, no. Cool. Um, then we can go back to the entrance and finish searching out this place. Are we going to be able to open this door? Oh, we need to level up too. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, we're very close. Pop a uh, pop a rune. Pop a rune. Five, nine, five should work, right? Actually, let's use. How much do we need to level? Nine more runes. Oh, dude, I didn't mean to. Re I hate that. I hate that you can't address your inventory um, outside of storage sitting at a side of grace. It drives me flipping bonkers, man. We're going to go with Endurance. Nice, dude! We can go medium load now using the uh, Scaled Gauntlets, too. That's an upgrade. So if we take a look at the comparison details... Across the board, dude, these, these are just a huge improvement for us. The weight is way up, but we stay medium rolling, which is nice. Um, and across the board, that's just a huge, uh, huge upgrade. So now we're using Skeld all the way across and our Imp Head Wolf. With our Ninja Turtle Shield and our Grafted Blade Greatsword. Super GG's. I need to eat. My amazing wife, tightly blocked shut, made me some uh, breakfast. I need to start taking bites of it. Divine Tower of West Altus. Okay. So... Let's finish searching out this place real quick. Oh, I need a napkin. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Oh, I needed a napkin. I apologize. Um, what's kind of crazy about like the two handy builds is that like with that boss we just fought, it was, it didn't have a ton of life, but I bet it could pr probably like wombo you down pretty well. But some of these enemies that you fight, you can just kind of stun lock them out with the big two-handed weapons. It's kind of it's kind of bonkers. We're going to go back in here real quick. We're going to finish searching out some of this that we haven't looked at yet. I'm really wondering what's up. That looks like it should be a door. 
with that statue down below. Oh, there's something back there. Hey guys, what's up? No, I'm good. Let me jump five. I just got wrecked. Oh my god, dude, the fire stun lock. Holy crap, dude, the fire stun lock. I had no idea. Emotional damage. Much easier to do uh Poise breaks? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I got melted. I got absolutely melted. That was crazy. Go back up. I knew we were going to get hit there, but I didn't know we were going to get absolutely, like, melted. I got stun locked, man. I, I was mash and roll. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, I haven't even hit 600 deaths yet. Jeez. Man, just cruising through this game, yeah? <laughs> just cruising. What's this? Nothing. Ah! Give me up. Is there nothing down there? Is there nothing in there? Oh, what the crap? Ah. Rude. Gold rune, we'll take that. Everybody chill. Buddy. Sneak plus tag on ultra great sword. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the sneak attack stuff with the uh like the great swords. It's super wombos, dude. Like, it's pretty, pretty crazy. That's like, I like sneaking around, too, and getting behind guys. The, the thing that feels bad is when you get behind, like, directly behind a guy, and then you click attack to do, like, an execution. And, um... Wait, what? Like that? You're talking about like that? Same thing as your dodge your dodge attack. That's what you're talking about, like this. Is that what you mean? The piercing attack, the thrusting attack. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually talking about that. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like this weapon so much. Is because even as a two-handy, um, it's very versatile. Not that that's the fastest attack in the world. But it does almost the same amount of damage as just a regular swing. And it is um, much quicker. Like, just dodge rolling and then slamming that in and then getting back out. I think... It does like what maybe about 20 less damage on average than like a regular swing but it's so much quicker and your recovery is so much better off of it um, that's what I've, I've talked about that a couple of times it's one of the reasons I really enjoy this weapon a lot as opposed to some of the other weapons I've tried out um, big strength weapons they just feel so slow <laughs> yeah and this at least has like a bit more range than something like a hammer does. It's not obviously going to give you like what a halberd has or anything, but it's a pretty good thrust, man. 
You get a decent amount of range off that thrust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this. Sneaking around with uh, sprinting. Yeah. Um, can we can we kill this flipping thing, please, dude? Bye. 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 More? Remember this dungeon? Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, the thing that... I'm wondering about is... Is... This. Like... Okay, dude. Be cool. Bro! I thought they were dead. Get off me, man! Okay, 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 dude. Well, that's it. There's no... <laughs> Get wrecked, dum-dums. <laughs> that was awesome. That's the only reason I went back in there right now is to go look at that statue again. There's definitely something that has to be done there. Um, but I'm guessing we'll find out later. I'm going to mark this place. Um, Emotional damage. Yeah, it didn't feel too bad to me, but I might be a bit over leveled for this area. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we, uh, as far as I can tell, we got everything done there. Um, I'm gonna marker this. We'll do that. Um, we take a nice, nice middle picture here. And I'm not looking for info on what the statue is. We'll, we'll probably figure it out at some point. I just went back in right there to, uh, to see if there's any, any way for me to, I'd already tried to interact with it. I couldn't interact with it. And then I figured, well, maybe I'll try to throw like a, a heavy hit into it and see what happens. And couldn't break it or anything, so we'll see. We'll probably figure it out at some point. Alright, where are we going now? Sil... Tunnel. Is that the, uh, how we got down here, right? No? Yeah. Is this the, uh, no, this is not it. Wait, what? Yeah, it is. Okay, we good. We got a stupid dung beetle down here, an invisible one running around. I hate trying to kill these things. It's so painful most of the time. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you butthole, man. Ah. Get wrecked, dumb dumb. Nice. Oh, no, dude. Leeches at the beaches. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, you know how I do, Matt. I just talk out loud all the time. You know what I mean? So, I appreciate people not spoiling. Yeah. Uh, there, there's very. Po it's very possible I might be able to do something with it right now. I'm just being three head about it. But I'll, I'll try to figure it out at some point. Uh, good.
goodness, dude. What a jump. What a jump. Um, what do we just get? No, no. It was one of these, wasn't it? We have so we're getting so many now. It's hard to keep up with which ones are new. Prayerful strike. This was it. Axes and hammers. Raise his armament aloft in prayer, then slam it into the ground. The inspired blow restores HP to the self and nearby allies if it successfully hits. Huh? That's wild. Okay. Just get good and uh, don't get hit. You never have to restore HP, right? Right, chat? Just get good. Uh, that looks like fun. Hey! Oh, hello. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please. Let me smell your fingers. <laughs> A tarnished would one day become Elden Lord and restore. Order. Lick your fingers in my nose. Surely you see it too. The gold that enshrouds the heavens. The great tree which begets the pillars of light. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. And whatever you might face. The fingers will surely guide you. Man, I'm so happy you're getting to go home, dude. You, you, surely go home. And what a thing. That's such good news, man. I actually need to kill some more dragonflies, but okay, that's kind of wild. Do I let's search out this area before we start moving into here? Yeah. Let's do that. The next, um, that of grace I get to, I'm going to actually go back to the, uh, it's called the round table or whatever. Is that what it's called? I can't even remember. And uh, turn that bell in so we can see what new items we can buy. Oh god, bats, dude. Get wrecked. Oh god, I hate those things. Golden Rune 10 and Golden Rune 9, baby. Let's go. Very nice. I hate those things so much, dude. What's going on in here? Rainbow Stones. I 
him out. Burbs super suck, bat super suck, especially those grandma bat. Hey buddy. Can we uh I need your head, pal. Oh, dang it. Well, that guy's alive. Okay. Ouch, buddy. Buddy. Oh, that missed? I don't even need to kill this guy, man. Ouch! Oh, no, no, no. Bro, are you... That AoE, though. Very nice. Very nice. What we doing, buddy? Stunning this guy out. Like, what the crap? Please don't kill me, bro. I don't know. We are a female protagonist or antagonist? I'm not sure what kind of antagonist we are, but we are definitely a lady. <laughs> Mamzelle, what's up? <laughs> so uh, maybe a better question is, why does Link sound like a lady? <laughs> it depends on how you look at it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Did I not grab that? What? Okay. Why do you want a rebuttal? I haven't gotten one. Because he's really Zelda? <laughs> Alright, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. That works. <laughs> yeah. Nice rebuttal. Mamzelle, what's up? How's work? Uh, graveyards are bad.
The second defensive line drill, the fell omen stacks high the corpses of heroes, yet the earth tree remains unshaken. What? Huh. Okay. Wild. And I guess maybe uh, we wouldn't always be screaming if I didn't always get hit, you know? Not missing work? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I wasn't judging. I appreciate you being here. In all actuality, one of the main reasons that I have my stream without a lot of vulgarity and cursing and stuff. Oh, hey, Tinwin. Cool, man. Yo, thanks. I'll grab that. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yo, Mamzelle, is is so that it can be, like, safe for work as much as possible, you know what I mean? Not that everybody can actually, like, engage with watching Twitch at work, but for the people that can, it, it's, you know, trying to make sure that the stream stays fairly safe for work. Yo, Timwin, that's awesome, dude. Thanks. What's, uh, what's up, buddy? Hey, everyone, welcome back. Uh... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, my dude. Alright, let's keep going. Yo, thanks for the link, man. Earbuds in? Right on. Snacking on some lunch? What you eating, bruh? I'm having eggs and toast right now. My amazing wife hooked me up, dude. Don't want to go back? I don't want you to go back either, Mamzo. Stewed marsharonis? Okay. Late lunch? Yeah. Okay. Yo, Mamzo. Uh, I hope work uh, goes well. I hope the rest of work goes well. Maybe we'll see you later? Hopefully, anyways. Take it easy, my friend. Um... What is that, Tinwin? I'm not I'm not familiar. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with that actually, dude. Yo, did was something just shot at me? What is that? Or was it just like a wind effect in the game? That was wild. We need to go over there. Let's go over there and grab that uh Hey, thanks so much again for the link, dude. I'll definitely check that out. What is that? Nothing? Oh, it's a head, dude. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah, I'm not familiar. Oh, okay. But I'll have to look it up now. Bro, what was that? Holy crap. We got something to fight over here for sure. Is someone there? A cousin. Well. You still been all wrapped up in school and everything, right, Tinwin? at home just as fun right <laughs> okay those so school uh school kind of winding down or is it already over are you finished with it ah perfume bottle we'll take that 
We already have one of these, so we're good. Profit trousers? Until next year, yeah. Right on. Cool, man. Good. I'm glad. Sorry you're having to do a bunch of chores, but... I don't know. School becomes such a, a pain in the butt quite often. I'm not a big fan. Dude, I bet these wreck. Holy critical. Oh, okay. We need more great arrows. Rune arcs. I need to actually test this. Um, grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. Even if no great rune is equipped, it will slightly increase max HP. It is said that the lower arch of the Elden Ring receives its bounty, and this is a shard of one such arch. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a rune arc. We have one. I'm gonna test it. See how this works. We need this. Let's grab that. Um we can sell a bit. Here's the test. Here's the test. So right now. How did school go, dude? Everything go okay? Right now, this is what we have equipped. Doesn't even show it here. It's weird. You have to... Uh, where's that? Show it in here. Godric's Great Room. Raises all attributes. Um, but you have to use an arc to get it to upgrade or to give you the actual attribute boost from what I understand. So we're going to try this, man. Um, 27, 36, 40, 19. Um, yeah, we're definitely boosted now, yeah? Definitely boosted. Now, what I'm wondering is, like, if we die, do we have to do that again? Do we lose it if we die? Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works. It didn't really explain it very well. We'll probably go ahead and buy these rune arcs because we're going to need them, I'm guessing. Um, what is that, 12? We need to mark this as... Oh, we won't buy them right now. We don't need them right now. We have others. But we will mark this merchant. And this merchant has arrows, uh, which we can buy. Cheese out some fights, probably. Not that we would ever cheese out a fight, right? But, I mean, you know. that bro what is that oh my glob dude that is ugly ah. oh those guys are definitely alive hanging from the top of that Oh, 
Okay, we need to go down there. That was close. Let's go ahead and use that. Uh, did I not use that? What? There we go. I need to just start holding down Q to get my uh, potions. I need to start uh, learning to do that. Or getting in, in the uh, muscle memory to do that. Bro, what is... Okay. Go! Cool. We got things. I definitely want to kill this guy. Wait, what? I didn't... Oh, the swing was super delayed, dude. You're wrecked. Ow! Wombo! Holy crap! Felt terrible. Let's go ahead and heal up. Guide him around. Nope! That's some very nasty looking uh, space dust. Ah! Get wrecked. Direct. Oh, that was a lot of lag. Holy crap, that felt terrible. Oh, it backed up. That sucks. Got them both. Nice. All right, all that's left is uh, big guy. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. He debated me, dude. Wow, I thought he was stunned out. He didn't drop anything. Come on, man. Look at the new things we got. Um, that's not it. Should be over. Meow. Stamina. Half total FP. HP. Restores half. Wait. Stellar restores HP for a time. Oh, that's weird. Boost faith, poise, magic, lightning, holy. Enhances charge attacks. Briefly stop rune loss on death and mi Really? <clears throat> that's wild. Huh. That's wild. Okay. Um... What all can we make at this point? I haven't looked at what all we can craft for a while. Acid spray mist uses FP to release acid mist from the mouth. Huh. Well. That tree is, uh, I need to actually mark this tree, hold on. We need to mark this tree as, uh, complete on. Yeah, 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 there we go. And 
Let's see what's up here real quick. Okay, let's go back here. Grab that real quick, that's fine. Now what I want to do is go take a look at... This away. That's a drop, yeah? Can we drop down right here and not die? Okay, sick. And there's a lot to look through. Um, let's actually go. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yep. Go this way and see what's over here real quick. Search out the things. Hmm. Well, we won't be able to drop there, that's for sure. Aha! <clears throat> nice, we gotta go get this tree real quick. Yo, that's rude. Yeah, they are trying to wombo us right now with catapults. Feels good. Oh, I don't think I've gotten one of those before. We're gonna have to see what that is. And what is in here? I'm sure, uh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, give me back. I need a goat horse to feel safe. Goat horse makes me feel safe. Did I already? No, no way. Is there a? Dungeon here? That sucked. Okay. Okay. That happened. Oh, Summer Smithing Stone 5. Let's go. That's a drop. Let's go this way. Nice. 
All right, well, we're trying to work our way up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's trying to poison me, man? Uh, that feels terrible. Yeah, we'll get out of there. That's nastiness. Don't enjoy being poisoned. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it. Yeah, we don't need to go that way either. Let's go this way. Bye. Some easy rooms. Oh, that looks bad. Is that a jellyfish? Yep. Get wrecked. <coughs> Dead. This isn't necessarily where I was trying to come to, but we're going to see what's here anyways. Okay. Let's grab whatever this is. What? Land octopus ovary. Sick. Okay. Um, we have things we need to look at in our inventory and find out what exactly we're grabbing here. Golden rune, sick. Let's go. Very nice. No enemies, please. Uh, I don't like that. What is this, uh... Okay, it is a material for crafting. What was the other thing we got? Was it one of these? Okay, I think that's actually what the other thing we got. Uh, uh... Bro, for real? Well, why? I didn't ask for this. What?
emotional damage. Okay. Love those one hit deaths, man. Just life bar melted. Oh, here's what we needed to see. Are we still boosted? I don't think we are. Are we? Are we? We might be. I can't tell. I can't remember. That sucks. I'm an idiot. Um, oh well. Test it again at some point. Because we get stat boost off of uh, some stuff we're wearing already anyways. That's why it's hard to tell. I can actually, I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Next time we stop, I'll figure it out. Bro. Am I? I'm, I'm aggroed on stuff right now? Okay, dude. Okay, wrong way. We gotta go this way. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's that? Grace mimic. Cool. That death. God, that's a drop, dude. Yeah, um, okay, perfect. Let me see something. I think we get seven points off of so our strength is actually at thirty five, and then. We're not boosted anymore. We're not boosted anymore. You actually have to use those arcs every single time you die. Okay. Weird. Because we're getting five points. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Yo, Wick, what's up, dude? Like, if we removed this. Yeah. 35, 31, 22. Uh huh. Then went to level up. How's work going, buddy? How oh, we're getting 31 because of the helmet. Mm -hmm. I hate not being able to address equipment or items, inventory, stuff like that in uh, sitting at the points of grace. It drives me crazy. I hate it, dude. 38, 40, yeah. Yeah, that feels bad, dude. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Here's what I want to do real quick. We're going to go... Um, table of Lost Grace. We have a, an item to turn in. Down here? Yeah. This was not open before. All right, we got a fight on our hands. Now what do we got to buy? Explosive stone? Sick. 
Two more uh, stone sword keys. Cool. That didn't open up very much, yeah? Dude, this is how you get to where you can just buy a bunch of smithing stones, huh? Gotcha. Uh, sir. Have you ever felt the curse? I want your armor. Praise the sun. The pox upon life itself. Feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement. Ignorant of your own interests. Seems like bliss to me. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to be thankful of the whole serenity that is all that keeps your death and it. I asked you not be thankful of it is all. I thankful it is all. I thankful it is all. I thankful it is all. Ah. Okay, I can't attack this guy. It's wild that this is open now. This was not opened before. <sighs> Nothing. You're useless. Decided to leave the round table hold after all. Oh, really? As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the gold, gold mask. mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Eighteen faith. I bet this could be pretty useful, actually. I wonder how long it lasts. Electrify armament. That was disgusting, I'm sorry. Your poison. Who, um... May the golden order shine through you. Cast incantations, you have to actually have equipped a, um... Is this the play? I probably need to start taking a look. What's my, so my intelligence and faith are at nine.
I'm gonna buy something. I don't know when the next time is we're gonna run into this guy. I, I'm not sure where else I can buy incantations at. Um, further study, I can happily. Getting to 18 faith would be tough. This is probably pretty useful. I think all of these would probably be useful. Potentially. Electrify armament. I can use items for that. Let's just, let's just do the thing, whatever. Let's just do the thing. I don't know if I'm going to end up using incantations, but... <clears throat> They feel like, it seems like it could be very useful if I could get in the method of, of uh, putting them to, uh, to use. All right, let's get uh, 3,400 more. How about that? Golden order shine through you. Further study. I can happily. shine through you further study of incantation I'll grab cure poison too I can you might as well I, I'm an idiot order shine through you. okay man I get it you've said it 40 times because I keep going in and out of the menu I know my fault but you shut up further study of incantation I can happen Okay. I am pleased. Would you like the blessing? Would you like to be held? Regardless? No. Nope. I'm good. There's something you should know. Something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wind yeah, opposite yeah. side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can 
even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Tell me what to do. You don't know me. I can hear it from across the wing. Path a howl. You should keep unknown. Okay. A howling and way. You should keep Okay. Unknown. Man, it would be so cool to be able to summon that. The FP cost is outrageous, though. What do I start off with? Like, 68? I think each point, point in the stat only raises it by, like, two or three. Sorry, I need to get that breakfast eaten. Well, I took you for it, no matter. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms, then. Okay. Strengthen our sword up, yeah? We haven't found another better weapon yet, so we might as well. 3570. Ready? Can we pump 3570? Oh yeah, easy. I went way too high. No matter. Oh yeah. All right. That's an upgrade, baby. Now, back already. No matter. Okay. Okay, I hate this. Um, anytime you strengthen your armament, it puts you back into one hand mode, which is dumb. Nothing new, nothing new. Okay. I want to... F that freaked me out, dude. I didn't... <laughs> he looked like one of those little uh, imps <clears throat> for a second. Wild. It's like, what's an imp doing in here? Anything new with you? Well, go forth. All right. <clears throat> Give this another uh, another look. See here. We're gonna jump over here and see if he comes and uh, fights. I want to fight. Hey, sir. Okay. It's very foggy in here.
Nothing? Get owned. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. I wonder what it is with, uh, So we'll just keep we'll keep cruising. We'll keep cruising. Yo, can we go here and search around? Or is there like a ledge that's keeping us from doing this? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Feels like there's a lot of stuff in here we probably haven't looked at. So let's just go on a a jaunt, a bit of a jaunt through this area and then we'll go over here. We definitely need to go looking through here too. A bit of a jaunt. Yo, did I do this archery tree yet? Actually. Can I even get up there? That's the question. Um, okay. Basically, that's what this is. Just a bunch of, like, craziness you're not going to be able to really get through. Um... Let's see if we can make our way down here, yeah? Wait, is that over there? Over there? How did we get down there yesterday? Across here, I think. Yo, what's in the carriage? What's in the box? What's in the box? Nothing. Uh, there's definitely something up there that looks angry. Let's go see what it is. There's another carriage down there. Um, hello. Stunned out. Oh! What? Where did a dog come from, man? What was that? Dead Let's 
go. Beast blood. You can find me in the blood. Okay. What's over here? Okay, chat. First try every time, baby, yeah. Easy. That's a lot of souls, dude. What the crap? Super free. Super free. Mimic! Bloody Hellas. Mm, looks like a, uh, like, saber. That's cool. A lot of cool dex weapons we've gotten already in this game. <laughs> lot of cool dex weapons. Blood loss build up, yeah. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade, carried by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. You can find me in the Lord of Blood. Designed to bore into flesh, causing severe blood loss at the wound, the extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. That's really cool. Mm. Unique skill, Dynast Finesse. Nimbly avoid an attack, securing some distance from foes. Follow up with strong attack to perform a sudden lunge. And press strong attack again to perform a sweeping slice. Yep, strength, dex, and arcane. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, that's really neat, dude. That's really neat. Yeah, these like little mini bosses, dude, especially when they're like dex based. Uh, what I found, what's really kind of wild is like, if you don't mash attack, if you like attack, let off, finish, and right as you're about to pull the swing back, hit attack again, like that. The, the the enemy AI isn't prepared for you to just keep swinging, and they just kind of take most of those attacks. It's really kind of weird. Get off me! Dude, the oozes, the scoozes in this game, they are tanks, man. Wow. At least the ones I've fought so far. Alright, we killed all that. Anything else over here? Give me that, dude. Quit eating my, my plants. Get wrecked. Whoa! Whoa! Everybody chill. <laughs> that was a hurdle, man. Alright, hold on. Where are we at? Cool. Cool. We definitely have to get down in here to go this way, yeah. How many breaks did Mamzel take today? She's been here for one break so far. One break. But um, I'm actually requiring more than that of her. So I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> 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 Missed you. 
Oh, uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, that feels bad. Okay. I'm an idiot. Oh, what? Why did it take so long? What's in here? Are they not hitting... Why is it that some enemies can hit each other and then some can't? I don't understand that. Oh, okay. That might have just finally happened. Missed both. Feels good. That was close. Yeah, there we go. Good. Everybody get out here. We might be able to get an amount of souls off these guys. We might level up. Oh, that one's dead? Let's go. Both of them are dead. Let's go. Dude, that was three. Yeah, pumpkin head down. Let's go. We got this, baby. That was close. Wait, what? Did he just summon something? What? I'm not hitting attack. Stop. How many cues was that? Good night. No! No! Holy crap, that was sketchy. Bro, for real, how did that miss? There's one down. Nice. Let's go! All the pumpkins ever drop are sanctuary stones. Great stars? What is this? Warhammer? Blood loss build up. Huge bludgeon with three stars at the striking end. 
Uh, though primarily a striking weapon, the star's spikes cause blood loss. A blood-stained star is an ill omen, a fact not lost upon those who, against whom this weapon is brought to bear. Landing attacks slightly restores HP. Endure is the skill. Assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using the skill is reduced. Huh. Wild. It's, um, it's attribute scaling is not very good, unfortunately, but the blood loss buildup is actually decent, but it would not be as good as something like, uh, Giza's, Giza's will that we've already found. So, I don't know. Plus I bet the reach on Giza's is much better. Still cool. We love loot, dude. We love loot. All right, where are we going? Well, that was fun. Loot, loot, loot. Yeah, yeah, metal. Yeah, dude. We love loot, man. Can I go? What I'm wondering is, can I go right here and come down and get in here? Probably not. We're gonna take a look, though. We're gonna take a look. So we're gonna go this away. And we're gonna turn and go down this away. Nothing there. Big old pumpkin head. Pumpkin. Okay, there's something over there we need to grab. Cool. Let's get it. Gravel stone? Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go down below. Mm. What is the play here? What is the play? Easiest way to get down below. I need to make a loot emote too. Bye. Okay, dude. Okay, man. Whatever. We kind of worked our way down into here yesterday, and I can't remember exactly how we did it. Is that the play? Or was that death? That might have been death. How many, uh... Oh, we need to level up, man. Let's go. Level up time! <sighs> we're gonna go to 30 with endurance. Then we're gonna get vigor up to 25. Yeah, that's the play. Yesterday, I think we actually have to go around that way, yeah. I think I know how to get us down there. We did it yesterday, and I just completely lost how, how I was doing it. But I think it's this way. There is actually... Nice. I think usually if you fall down those little, um, bro, what is that? Are you for reals? If you fall down the areas where there's like the wind tunnels that can boost you up, I think usually if you fall down those, you don't take much fall damage, if any. At least that's kind of been my experience. Explosive stone clumps. 
Okay. Well, kind of went the wrong way here, didn't I? Oh well. Good jizzle, what's up? No, no. I, I, like I said, I, I'm not going back to those. That's what I was saying earlier. I'm not going to go back and fight the tree sentinels or this, uh, like, variant form of Godric. This variant form of Godric that's right here is not, uh, I can't remember, Godric, Godfrey, I think is his name or something like that. He doesn't do the second phase of grafted stuff but he's just super tanky we did just upgrade our weapon but uh i need to go back and do that and this i'm just gonna wait until i get a bit boosted up to make it not so brutal yeah so i'm gonna do that and that at some point in the near future but right now i'm just searching things out we just found uh this area so i'm gonna take a look through here yep Racked crystal. Oh no, dude. Yeah. Great for dying. Yeah, I know, bro. Okay. Oh, and there's a dog. Fantastic. Get wrecked. Oh, come on, man. Get wrecked. Oh, he's not dead? Oh, and I swung over him? What? Elden Ring, thanks, man. Yo, look at the top of this barrel. Thick levitation spell. I hate that you can't interact with stuff while you're crouched. God, it drives me bro just crazy, man. That looks bad. That helps us boost um, electrical defense resistance, excuse me, if we need it. Sir! Sir! Uh, swung right through him, sweet. No, hey, Timwin, dude, I, I, to I totally understand that. Yeah, no, dude, no. No, I get that, dude. Don't even sweat it, man. Yeah, I, I completely understand that, man. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have... Yeah. Yeah, word. Completely understand. Um, again, if you haven't heard me say this, uh, I highly recommend getting it on console. As opposed to PC, dude. 
But I, I totally get that, dude. I totally understand. Um, I'm a bit behind a lot of other people, um, and I have had some people come in and, and try to, like... It's hard for people because they love the game so much, and they've already experienced a lot of the content, and they, they want to give advice, and they want to help push you along, you know, when really it's like, I, I'm just trying to experience the game and, and I, I am providing content to people that want to be part of it as well. I understand why it's hard for people to just like hang out and, and watch when they've already been exposed to or played through the content themselves, you know, but um, I'm the same way, man. I don't want to, I don't want the game to be spoiled. I'm enjoying um, the story. I'm enjoying exploring and finding things on my own and, and you know, it's different if people like show up in, in chat and they're like, hey, would you like some advice? But most time people are just like throwing it into chat and it's like, yo, could, could you please just like not, you know? So I get it, dude. I, I, I completely understand not wanting to be um, exposed to a lot of the content in the game, you know? Um, so don't even sweat it, buddy. Yeah. I mean, look, dude, you are an absolute legend in this community and uh an og in this community if you will as well um so i know that you will always be around when you can and and um you know everybody's got busy lives and and i absolutely understand not wanting to have um a game spoiled and stuff so not being around for that kind of thing i get it i definitely get it That's like, I've been trying to stay away from basically any Elden Ring content at all, dude. Um, I watch a lot of like, you know, like when I'm getting ready in the morning, taking showers, stuff like that. I'll watch like, um, Twitch Fells and, and stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh. And there's a lot of Elden Ring stuff that comes up on there. And I just kind of like, don't look, man. Like, just don't look. I don't want to see anything, you know. But I do think you're going to enjoy the game. I do. Again, uh, what I would say is, uh, if dude, if you can grab it on console, grab it on console. The PC version has issues, for sure. It's not like unplayable or anything, but I think you'll have a better experience playing it um, on console. It definitely feels like a game that was that was developed for console. I mean, I'm. I'm having a fine time with it. There have just been issues as well. Sir, you can't see me. You can't even see through that helmet, man. What the crap? Granted, we are not an assassin. But we were in sneak mode. He started to walk away and then he looked up here again.
No, dude. Nope. 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 Feels good. Golly, man. Okay. I shouldn't have tried to backstab. I didn't know there were going to be dogs down there. Emotional damage. Well, let's just run through here. More resources. See you. Ouch. Oh, Troll's Hammer, sit. Let's go. Give me those. Where are we going? Smithing Stone 4. I can't heal. That was bad. I'm so stuck. The flame. The flame wombo. <laughs> Bro, that flame from that enemy is trash. It is so cheese. It just stun locks you. It stun locks you and it lasts forever. Holy crap. Okay, what do we get though? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, wild. Wild. Mining tool of stone digger trolls used to crack bedrock. Trolls are descended from the giants, and these were supposedly used as ceremonial smithing tools in the distant past. Smithing was considered divine. Uh, trolls roar is the skill. Look into the distance and let out an intense roar, generating a powerful shockwave that blows back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. Um, we would need... Yo, uh, Tinwin, do you know what kind of build you're going to try for in your playthrough when you start playing it? We would need another faith. Got to have faith. Uh, we would need another faith to, to, to wield it. Uh, the, the attribute scaling on it is actually decent. It does physical and fire as opposed to what we're currently using, which is just fizz. We're just straight up get fizzed. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. We won't be using it, but wild. Okay, man, let's do it again. We out. Did I miss something? Oh, crap. Rude. Smithing stone five, let's go. All right, which way do we need to go here? Bro, what? Oh, this will be fun. Is that what you're going to do the whole time? E 
emotional damage. <laughs> Got Wombo, dude. Okay. We just gotta get good at running through here. We'll just grab everything we can on the way, I guess. That's the play. That's the easy run right there. Let's go. I knew there had to be an easier way down. I was being real dumb about it. Sir, 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 I'd like to speak to you about your car's extended warranty. stupid AOE other than run and this this arena is really small man First try every time. Great club. Let's go. Great club. You can find me in the great club. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look at it. Can I pass it? Oh, yeah. It's a straight up strength weapon, um, but it starts scaling at C too. Hmm. Enormous club of hardwood. Um, wildly hammering foes with this stri striking weapon requires no dex, only brute force. While it may seem sacrilegious, this weapon is said to be a withered branch of the Erd Tree. Imbued with holy power, this weapon will never snap. Golden land skill. Thrust armament into the ground and gather strength to unleash a blast of sacred energy that coalesces into golden darts. Follow up with a strong attack, swing the armament, and a sweeping strike. Let's just, let's, let's see what the, the, it feels like. We actually could one hand this, but we do not one hand in this playthrough. Oh, that's a weird, uh... Yeah, hmm. don't think that's going to do it. Is that where we came in? This is where we came in, yeah. Bro. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. We got that taken care of. I think I got everything out of there. I think I did. That was almost an upgrade. Um, I don't like the... The dodge swing or the um, the the uh, sneak swing on it uh, near as much as this weapon. So, um, yeah, unfortunately. So this one we'll just mark as completed. I actually think. We need to come out here. We need to get to the left. Yeah. Hey, man. Get wrecked. What? Uh. No. Yo, goat horse. You're turning, it's trash. Oh my blob, okay. Can you get off? Keep moving. Is this? Yeah, okay, let's go this way. I think this will do. This will do, this will do. A whole new place to check out, man. I'm pretty sure this is Dracula. Dracula's castle. I said this before, by the way. If we ever end up playing this game again, we are naming our character Belmont, and we're doing a Belmont build. It will be a balanced build between magic, dex, and strength, and these will be our primary type of weapons. The whips. It'll be pretty wild. Yeah. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It's gonna be brutal, but it'll be fun too. Dead. Wow, I thought I was gonna die right there. Oh, dude, I hate these things. Ugh. I missed both of those. All of those, I mean. Yeah. things are nasty, man. Yo, is there something in there? Oh, uh, that's bad. That was bad. Holy crap. Oh my glob, dude, I'm so almost dead. Wah! Well, that's close. What is this?
Bro, what is this? Who are you? I didn't hit that? Okay. Oh, whatever, dude. Get wrecked. Okay. This little elf running around is driving me crazy. Trying to rot me out, man. Feels good, thanks, buddy. Oh my god. That's pretty cheesed, dude. That's pretty cheesed. That enemy on the ground had no life left, and I swung straight through it, dude. I would love to see the Emotional damage. Swung straight through that. In Bro, are you kidding me? Is this down? Oh my god, dude. I wouldn't have even turned around to try to hit that enemy again and risk getting hit by the giant had I not swung straight through. I'm pretty sure I even saw my sword clip the ground, dude. Straight through that, that mob on the ground. That enemy on the ground. It feels really bad. Okay, man, I get it. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's so weird. Oh, they just have no life. All right, uh, we're gonna go back this time. Try to find a point of grace or something first. No, we're not having to ride all the way back every single time. Not to mention, it feels like I swung straight through that enemy uh, prior in that fight as well. Felt like I swung straight completely through the enemy at one point. Good times. Good times, dude. Souls things. Okay. I just want a safe spot, please. Okay, there's one over here. That was close. Yep, that was a big old debate. I was afraid of that. What else is in here? Poison Bloom, let's go. Let's get out of here. This is the play. We're going to go right here. Grab this, and then we're going to leave here. Bruh. There. We're going to go back over here. We're going to kill this enemy. I'm not doing it. I am not having this crap. Getting my souls back. I don't even know if I had very many. Did I have, did I have very many souls when I died? I can't even remember.
What's up, idiot? Okay. Where are my souls? What the crap? Really? Feels bad. Got him. Got him. Bro. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Pull this all the way back here. Oh yeah, we had a good amount of souls. Get wrecked. See ya. That was death, right? Ants for rapier. Mar Marius mask. Marius rope. Sick. Let's go. Oh, for real, dude? Pretty rude. How have I not knocked him over? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Buddy. Sick. Do we got? Uh, Marius's mask. Mask in the image of a white haired young noble, customarily worn by the head of House Marius, increases arcane. Oh, sick. It's an arcane build, man. The Marius family has a dual history spanning generations serving as both executioners and castellans of Shaded Castle. This mask bears the likeness of the first of their line. Nice, dude. It looks like, uh, you ever seen Dark Crystal? Marius's robe. Robe with a black mantle uh, across the shoulders, customarily worn by the head of House Marius. The sons of House Marius are all sickly born. Little wonder that uh, Mali Marius would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into rot. Okay, and we got a weapon too, right? Didn't we? A oh, pickaxe, dude? That's actually sick looking. I forgot that we had gotten that. Dude, what? Hold up. Didn't we get something else? Am I tripping? Do I heard something?
This is it, right? Spur of a giant ant which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Scarlet rot is an old legend of which um, uh, Malay... Mally Marius of the Shaded Castle was a private believer, and indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Impelling thrust, skill, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. That's actually sick. Scarlet Rot build up. That's pretty cool. Not for us, though. Get wrecked. We can go up another level pretty soon. We might be able to buy uh, buy into one with our uh, runes. Pop some runes. Pop some runes. Okay. Cool. Get wrecked, dude. Now let's go explore this place, yeah? There are multiple ways in, uh, it looks like. There's one. Uh, hello. Nice. Garlight shards. Okay, cool. Uh, bro, why? What? see what going in over here does for us. Hello, hello. I can't target that thing, so I'm guessing it's... Uh, bro. No? That was some uh, rudeness. Nice. Our stamina's holding up pretty nice nowadays, yeah? Swinging around a big old two-handy, uh, it doesn't feel too awfully bad. The amount of stamina. Oh, bro. Those plants suck, man. Uh, before we go down into there, there, let's go check down here. It looks like there's some stuffs. This area is a bit uh, sketch. Bit sketchy. Let's go this way. I think this is actually just like a shortcut. We're going to need to go through the first of this place again to go track down any items we missed. But this seems like it might be a bit of a... Ah! No! Get out! Get out! Oh! Nastiness, dude. Yep, we got it. We got rotted. We're rotted, man. No! Feels bad. Okay. We're alright. Um, we will heal. There we 
go. Can we make more of those? Crystal cave moss, dude. We need crystal cave moss. Feels bad. Is that all that was over there? we got going on in here all right let's run oh that's bad feels 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 bad, feels bad. Hey, Pinky, what's up, buddy? Why, why the drums, dude? <laughs> He's like, but um, shh. Oh, he dies again. <laughs> All right, man. Let's see. Where are we going? <laughs> what's up, dude? What are you up to? Nope, I'm good. No thanks. Oh, we need to go up there. Okay. Mm -mm, weird. So we're poisoned. Are we poisoned? Yo! Can you, can you guys stop with the spells? You ruins? The, the homing spells, dude. Ah! Heh <laughs> Smithing stones, cool. Every shop sitting uh, really back in my seat shouldn't even be commenting in this position. <laughs> hey, dude, you just chill out, man. Don't even worry. It sounds like you're super comfy, dude. Just relax, bro. Don't even, don't even worry. Yo, what? What is? the play here. Okay. Oh, sir! Oh, no, sir! I don't want to die. Okay, that'll work for now. We'll heal up. No, 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 not in that, not in that, not in that, not in that. No deaths, no deaths, please. God, I hate these things. They're so ugly, too. Good night. They are flipping hideous. Oh, yep. I was like, bro, I'm stuck. No. Feels bad. Let's get out. Buddy, come fight me in here. You can find me in the cleave. Oh, I thought that one was still alive. I was like, what the crap? It looks like it's still alive. Look. Home slice. Come play. Look at it, just sitting there, looking like it's ready to hop. Oh, look at the sun coming through. That's nasty cool, dude. Look at that. 
Isn't that neat? The sun just gradually pulling through there. I love that, man. That's really cool. Alright, we gotta grab that. Oh, hello, sir. Get wrecked. Draw string fire grease, okay. The slugs have finally made their way over to uh to try to get in on the fight. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Okay, cool. What? No, dude. Okay, I'm out. Feels good. Feels good, thanks. Are any of them climbing up? I don't think so. All right, I think we're okay. Um, we're poisoned though, which feels bad. I saw you over there, buddy. Sir? There we go. More down there. Uh, we need to go up there. I knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, man. I even tried to hit uh, dodge, and I just couldn't get it off in time. I knew there was going to be one there, man. Trolley game, dude. There's another. Flash shard. Uh, what is this, dude? <laughs> That's right. Get wamboed. Drop me something. Aww. Get wamboed. Feels good. This is a bit freaky, dude. Is this a mimic? Valkyrie's prothesis? What is this?
I didn't even look at what kind of item it was. I'm gonna have to look through. <laughs> Golden proth prosthesis used by one armed Valkyrie. That's where we were. I'm gonna need more. Let's see. Um, we gotta go look at all that stuff. This is where we came in at. So we gotta go through here. That looks terrible. Okay. Item there. Nope, it's not. Kappa. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of stuff to find. I kind of want to go up there first, though. Let's see if we can run over. phone's ringing. You should check it. Oh, that looks terrible. As does this. Holy crap, how did I not die? I'm not fighting those guys, dude. That sucks, man. Okay, I've got to get us all the way back over there. Feels terrible. There's that. That ladder is not the ladder. Feels good, thanks. Bye. Oh, I wonder what that item is. That wouldn't be hard to get. Nope, see you. Nope. 
Bye. Nope. See ya. What I will do is plop here. Plop here. Nope. Can you grab that, please? There you go. What's up, buddy? Perfume bottle. I missed all my souls. That's terrible. I tried to grab them and it didn't. It didn't pick them up. It sucks. Let's grab this. Oh, dude. I thought I got grabbed. What else do we need to get? Thought I got got right there. Not gonna lie. Is there... Stuffs? I don't think so. Okay. We need to go up there. There's things in there. I'm not going to worry about those souls. What I am going to do is run back over there, though, because there's another place. Chill, chill out a bit, and it's time to cook something. What you going to cook, man? <laughs> okay, dude. You already knew what I was going to ask, man. I love it. Can you... Oh, you've got to be kidding me, dude. It won't let you jump up there. Shenanigans. Okay, yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, real cool. Okay, man. Whatever, dude. What kind of trash is that, dude? Oh, cool, the worst. Awesome, man. How are you, buddy? Uh, give me a second and I'll show you, man. I'm kind of in the mix right now, so... Stone fours. Yeah, give me a second, dude, and uh, and I'll show you where I'm at, man. <clears throat> Trying to run through this place and get some stuff done real quick. Um, I should be able to show you right here, I think. No, this is a bit sketchy too. Give me a second. Uh, I'm definitely not fighting these guys. on over here. Oh, there's something back here. Nope! Woo, 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 woo. We're up. I'm gonna try to grab my souls again. We're up. That wasn't a lot of souls, but it was an amount. Oh, he's out! Oh, what up? Okay. We're going to go over there. This is bad. 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 Go this way. What? I was out of the poison, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh... It, it feels like that, dude. It, it does. It definitely does. Um, I've, I've definitely gotten the same way in this game. Um, just needing to, like, chill out. Decide to, like, not really try fights. Oh, bro, and I used an item right there. Whatever. Uh, kind of, kind of wait to do continue trying fights. Dex Faith, that's cool, dude. That's cool. Right on. Until I had a bit more rest, you know. 
Sometimes I'll save really tough fights until like the next day or, or whatever, um, just so I'm feeling a bit more uh, there for it, you know. Wait, so now. Wait, 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 wait. Was Marika or not Marika? But uh, yeah, okay, we're good. I'll show you where I am. I'll show you where I am. So we are up in this area now. Yeah. Um, I knew there was this place and so we we just came up into here and tried wanted to search through here and see what we could find. Uh, right outside of here there there was like a little mini bossish type character we took on and yeah but this is kind of what what we're doing right now. Um, we had kind of started up in through here and I was like, you know what? I want to look through all of this before we moved in here. So, uh, I kind of backtrack and I've been looking through this area. So I'm starting out here and working my way in. Yeah. Oh. Still haven't found me a new weapon to, to replace this one, but we've gotten, nope, rude doggy. It hit me, but I missed it. What are you talking about, dude? I'm gonna die. Okay. The hitboxes in this game sometimes are just like absolutely bonkers. It feels like your hitbox is like three or four times the size of your character and then you'll be like swinging through enemies and not hitting them. And it's like, okay, man, it wasn't a big deal dying right there. It still doesn't feel good. Emotional well, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, a, we're a full strength based character. So it takes us a while to swing. Yeah, of course. I mean, one of the reasons I like this weapon is because we got to stab in like that whenever we do dodge attacks and stuff. Obviously, a dex-based character is going to be able to get attacks in much quicker. There's pros and cons to all of it, right? The thing that I can tell you is that there have been some actual, like, bosses we fought that haven't been able to sustain through, um... I mean... I wouldn't call it a problem. It's just a mechanic of the build we're doing that you have to become accustomed to, right? It's like a dex-based build. You can attack quickly, right? But you're not going to do, like, a lot of stun or uh, big damage, yeah? So you get attacks in quick, but um, opposite being said for, like, what we're doing, a big two-handy build, you can get stuns in. You can uh, break poise on a lot of enemies, which is really nice. And um, you do big damage. Using a flail, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. So, yeah, I mean, the big wind-up is rough. But when you hit, you hit like a truck. And um, it allows you to break poise on a lot of enemies and kind of stun them out and stuff, which is nice. The reason we're doing the strength build is because that's what everybody voted on in the channel when we started the game, you know? Normally, I would be doing, like, more of a dex-based build. That's just kind of what I tend to go for. What did he say? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put her down, Godric. Yeah. 
I think that we had already been down there, yeah? <laughs> so, Mamsel! Did you quit work? What's up, Mamsel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the worst. Yeah, I mean, it's that's the thing about the Godric fight, right? A lot, a lot of the boss fights in this game are like, you, you finally get to where you feel pretty comfortable with the mechanics of a boss, and then you get down to that second phase, and it's like, oh, now I've got to learn all this too, yeah? Um, there's actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they did a good job with the boss fight stuff. What I'll say, man, is, like, if you don't figure out how to uh, line up your iframes with the way that the boss is lunchtime, all right, well, you have it, Mamzelle. Uh, if you don't line up, if you don't figure out how to line up your iframes or dodge the correct way for your iframes to line up with whatever attack is coming in from a boss, um, you'll get throttled. You get like stun locked into death. They're very melty. That's like we were at the end of the day yesterday. We were fighting a boss, and I almost quit fighting it. We tried it a couple times, and I was like, "Man, how do you?" I was like, "That the tracking on that attack. Like, how do you get through it?" And then I was like, "Maybe I need to roll through it this way." And I went and tried it another time, and sure enough, man, it's exactly what it was, you know. And and uh, then we tried a couple more times and killed it, sir. Cauliflower chicken fried rice yesterday. Nice. That sounds fantastic. There's another guy back there. Okay, let's get sneaky. Real sneaky. And I see this guy. These guys suck. Okay. Thing, what's funny is that oh nice we got a hood I have found uh, the worst I feel like I found way more it is very good good um, I found way more I'm actually about to put a bunch of sriracha on my lunch just some like noodles and and uh, tofu and cabbage 590 root cash what's up buddy <laughs> What's up, dude? I feel like I've found way more dex based weapons in this game right now than I have, like, which it's. There's a lot of, like, combination stat based weapons in the game than just, like, true strength based chonkster weapons, like what I'm looking for, you know? Cash, what's up, buddy? Sriracha for the win, yo. Yeah. I need to grab some more coffee in a moment, too. Eat some lunch. What are you having, Cash? We gotta go up there. What's out here? Good to see you, buddy. You're wrecked. Hefty beast bones, nice dude. We can make some uh, some ammo for our oh dude for real. No spoon for your soup? Oh bro, that's rude. Uh, I think this one wants to play. Uh, that was rude. Get wamboed! Work out, drink the rest? Hey man, 
You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Shame on Panera, dude. Like, uh, the worst. Like, that kind of stuff right there, man. Just because we got so much poise break in our weapon, man. It just stuns out these enemies, man. It's crazy. So if you can get the hit in, man, that's the thing. You get that hit in, a lot of times you can just kind of bust them down real quick, man. Yeah, like the, the hook claws, they don't have enough stagger like the flail does. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want your cooties. <laughs> uh, you guys are wild, man. Do I want to go up first? I might. I don't know. Let's see what's down here before we go up. Oh, there's an item down there. God, they, they know how much I love loot, man. It's pretty rude. I know how much I love it. <laughs> Some people's kids, man. You know what I mean? What's going on up here? Uh, Woo! Buddy! Buddy! Gold Firefly, let's go. Panera made you this way? I might have needed to go up back there before I go this way. I don't know, man. We do need to go up back there for sure and find out what was up there, but. There's definitely uh, an enemy hanging out in there. Do Emotional damage. damage. Yeah, yeah. No! Stupid dogs, dude. God. I knew there were going to be more enemies up here, too. Feels bad. Emotional damage. Stupid dogs, man. That's pretty rude. The game is getting very rude at this point. Doing stuff like that. Mission fail. We'll get them next time. Thanks, Mamzelle. Yeah, we'll get it right now. We're just gonna run through here. Yeah. Like they're making a new Armored Core game. They'll end up throwing some uh, some armored dogs in there. That felt good. That felt good. Thanks. Go. I'm good. See you, buddy. Oh, I missed it. It was the other way. Crap. Are you kidding me? Direct. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get poised up here. Is anybody, anything coming after me right now? Absolutely. Absolutely there is. This guy. Old Mr. Jenkins. Just, whoa! Okay. For reals? Wow. Okay. That was pretty rude. 591? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Cash, thanks. Who brought the Velociraptors? What are you talking about? You talking about those dogs? 
Yeah, dude, they're they're pretty rude. I need to I need to sneak around and see if I can take them out. See if we can find them without aggroing this guy. There they are. Mm, there's some more. Get wrecked. Um, this is not a great situation, man. Um, how do I want to do this? Bad, pretty bad. Okay. I'm gonna heal up. Bro, why is it? Okay. There we go, that sucks. Let's go, baby. We're still sneaking. We're still sneaking. The wombo with this sword is actually nice. It's just whenever you miss, it feels not nice. You know what I mean? Kick ladder, let's go. Very nice. Very nice ladder kick, dude. Shortcut. Now, we didn't go up a place already that I know we need to go back to. Um this point I'll wait let's go up let's go up Mickey turtle oh we got a boss fight of course we got a boss fight this is super what are we fighting Medusa what is this man I need more coffee Here we go. Ready? That's a lot of souls, man. Oh no, dude. Oh my glob, dude. <laughs> Who is this? Elmer of the Briar. Okay. No. Emotional damage. That felt horrible. Get to learn this guy's mechanic. I wonder how much damage we're going to do to him. Mm. That was a lot of souls. We're probably going to lose. Out, bro. I don't know what that was about. There's another. Emotional damage. I didn't even see how much damage I did to him. All right. 
He uh, he hurts. He hurts, man. Feels bad. Ow. Bro. Wow, dude. Have to learn these mechanics. Good night. Emotional damage. It just doesn't stop, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Cash. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be cranking up here <laughs> while I learn this fight. <laughs> we're gonna be cranking up, dude. No, that's me. That's me. That's me. I've got a steam I've got a stream deck set up with a uh, a button man where I just press it and it it ups it. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Okay, right there. Um, cash. Um, dude, it, it's it's really easy. So I looked into it before I started this game. Um, just a second. Just a second. I'll tell you what to. Uh, there's a there's a plugin. There's a plugin for the stream deck. I'll tell you what it's called. Just a second. One second, guys. All right, check it out, buddy. Um, it's it's a uh, bar raider, okay, and it's the um, where's it at? Stream counter right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So um. It's, it's, if you just go to the shop page, uh, for the plugins on your, on your stream deck, look for bar Raider, uh, B A R R A I D E R. And then look for us uh, or just, just search for stream counter, stream counter. And this is the logo for it. Okay. Um, this is the one you're looking for. Um, and it's really easy, dude. If you have any questions, let me know, but it's really easy. You can set up uh, like sound effects. Like I have, uh, for every time you hit the button, it, it'll just re up. It's real easy, dude. It's real easy, <clears throat> but that's what, um, so back in October, dude, I did scare Tober and I was doing a, 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 death counter, but I was like manually inputting every time I died and it was just real cumbersome. And, um, I knew I needed to figure out something a bit more easy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. You can, so that's what. I knew that I needed to get something like that set up for this playthrough, especially because we were going to be dying a lot. <laughs> and it's worked out pretty well. Yeah. Pretty nice, dude. It's pretty nice. We did okay that time. Wait, what? How did I still get hit by that, dude? I, I I feel like I I framed it and then got still got hit on the end of it. That was weird. That felt bad. Okay. Emotional damage. Yeah, I got it, buddy. Thanks, dude. Yep. 
It is good to have chat keep me in check, because, dude, I'll forget sometimes. Mm hmm No! No, Mamzell! Oh, yeah. Ouch. Ow, dude, what? Okay, it feels good. You gotta stay close to this guy, it feels like. Oh my, what was that tracking, dude? What? I knew what attack was coming, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah, super hacker, dude. Tracker hacker. That guy is definitely a, a, uh, a mob in, in Tron, for sure. Um, what, how many hours in am I? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm a solid amount of hours in. I don't, I don't, I don't push through games real quick, though. I just don't. I never have. Um, let me see how many hours I have in. 73? It's almost 74? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of deaths, dude. Yeah, thanks, dude. Emotional so you got me side That's your fault. You got me sidetracked, man. That's your fault. Okay. Emotional damage. Yeah, I love taking my time, especially in games like this and like like a lot of the the community that I've built up so far came about because I played the Pillars of Eternity games. And dude, I put over 300 hours into both of my playthroughs of those games. And it those weren't like 100% playthroughs or anything, dude. Um now, I I normally play my games on on uh harder if not the most difficulty, you know, highest degree of difficulty and uh the Pillars of Eternity games, we played on expert mode. We played on very hard difficulties and stuff. So that takes a little more time anyways. But I just enjoy the story. I enjoy exploring in games and stuff like that. I don't I don't feel a need to rush. I'm definitely no... Ah, I forget about that. Good night, dude. Yeah. See, I haven't even played Breath of the Wild yet. I own it. My son has played a ton of that game. But I, I haven't really watched it because I don't want to be spoiled. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to play Breath of the Wild on stream right before the second one hits. So I'll probably take like the majority of a month, dude, if not a little bit more, and just do a real long Breath of the Wild playthrough and then go straight into playing Breath of the Wild 2 as soon as it drops. So just kind of doing in conjunction. Now that we're friends again. Creature! What okay the, what the, you? what, what, dude? <laughs> so you're never playing Breath of the Wild. Got it. That sounds like, that sounds like Wick, dude. <laughs> Yo, Preacher, thanks so much, buddy. Dude, what have you been up to, man? How's life, buddy? That feels bad. I've never seen him do four there, dude. I've never seen him do four. Emotional damage. Wild. Wild, man.
This guy has a lot of variance in his attacks, I feel, which makes this kind of uh, hard to figure out. Feels bad. God, I was panicking, man. Emotional damage. Well, yeah, yeah, because sometimes, man, it's like even his basic attacks, he'll do like one or two. And then sometimes, like, I'll dodge two attacks and I'm like, all right, it looks like I'm good to attack. And then he, like, hits me with two more. And I'm like, where did those come through? Been grinding Destiny 2, getting ready for work. Yo, Preacher, how's your, uh, how's your job been, dude? Thanks so much for the support, buddy. Incredibly, incredibly generous and much appreciated, man. We're gonna have a lot of deaths right here. This, uh, this, this boss man's got some stuff going on. I missed it. Oh, weak sauce. You see the range? Holy crap. Dude, I didn't know the range was that that uh far on that. Holy crap. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a good number right there. Yo, if you're not dying in in uh, Soulsborne games, you're not doing it right. Am I right? I mean, I say that, and then there are people that like uh, Happy Hob who, you know, no hit run these flipping games. I don't know. Ow, bro. Golly, dude, the amount of damage coming off of him, too. Yeah, it's so wild seeing people do that kind of stuff. You know, Emotional blasting damage. through those games. Not just speedrunning them, but, like, do, ha, watching, like, like, I used to watch Happy Hob every once in a while, man. And not necessarily for him, but for, um, for the fact that he runs through those games without getting hit. Like, all the Soulborn stuff, man. And Sekiro, and just... It's wild, man. I don't... It's just so crazy. I don't have anything against him. Uh, his content's fine. It's a little bit extreme for, for my taste sometimes. Um, but... His gameplay is, is... Pretty amazing. Going through those games and just not getting hit at all. In succession, too. Blindfold? Or, like, people doing those games on, like, uh, steering wheels and stuff. It's like, what? Ah, uh, way too soon. I got hit by that. That feels bad. I was just a bit too early. Emotional damage. Bit too early. Huh. We're getting. We're getting. <laughs> yeah, I did get a bit greedy there. Well, it, he was getting up. You I mean. Yeah. We we do damage, dude. We do damage. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Cash. If I can keep moving around him to where he just keeps doing that shield move, that's what I was trying to do right there. Uh, but he, he, he pulled himself out of it. Um, it does look like you can pull him into that kind of loop. You can pull him into a loop where, where he'll keep doing the shield slam. And it's not a hard move to dodge through to get your iframes eye, eye through. Um, that's what I've, I've noticed a couple times now. It's just getting uh, that circle around him to keep procking that loop. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's just a bit difficult to line up sometimes. And um, again, trying to get a feel for how to keep that mechanic looping up. Yeah, I felt, I felt it there at the end too. I was like, I think I'm out of position to keep it going. And sure enough, man, he broke it. The thing was... After the execution, as hard as this guy hits and as easy as he melts me, I've got to get damage where I can get damage. So, whenever he was standing up, I, ha I felt like I had to get behind him to get a big hit in to get some more damage. You know what I mean? What? Bro, that's some crap. Missed. Missed? Really? Missed? Fantastic! That sucks. Oh. I can't, I can't even, like, when he does that, when he, that's why I'm staying close, because if you get too far away, he just starts throwing the sword, and I can't even dodge roll out of it. I can't move. Like, after I get hit, he starts throwing that sword around, and... Emotional I'm just stuck, man. I think if you were fast rolling, it might be a bit easier to get out. Of, you might be able to get out of that, but I'm medium rolling. So, yeah, close combat definitely feels like the way to go. Yeah, for sure. You got to kind of, you got to uh, really get up in this guy's face a little bit. Really? Feels good. Oh, dude, that that was it too. Feels bad. I can't heal fast enough, dude. Good night. There it is, that three, that three hit. Miss. Miss. God, I accidentally, I accidentally dodged, dude. I didn't mean to. You can definitely loop him. Yo, metal. Hey man, do some reps for me too because uh, all I do is eat food and play video games. So if you could do some reps for me, I would appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. I accidentally, I accidentally hit dodge and rolled out of it. It felt bad. We'll get it. Um, Emotional. Yeah, metal. Damage. Dude, thanks for being here, buddy. Thanks, man. It's good to see you, dude. Have fun at the gym. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Uh, Preacher, how's, uh, Destiny been? Feels bad. Bro, that, that flipping magic sword swinging crap, I, it is, I'm having a really tough time getting the dodge down on that. Whether I'm right next to him 
or or far right next to him is easier. I've definitely dodged it, but whew, man, that thing melts too, man. Did I? Emotional damage. If I didn't, we did it again. Bro, that sucks. And therein lies the problem. Well, lost my frames. I could roll just a tad too soon. Emotional damage! I got him to do the shield slam twice and both times he... He turned it into the big flipping uh, AOE. It definitely feels like you can get him stuck in that loop. It's just... Feels good. Too soon. That's stupid. I, I had to try to turn the other way. It's been good, Kayla. What's up? It's been good. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting throttled it. by a boss right now, but it's been good. Yeah. What's up? How's your day been? Are you still working? We'll get it. We, uh, we do a good amount of damage to this boss, but we basically have to, like, almost... Like, not get hit. hill GG's. There it was. Executioner Sword. Elmer of the Briar. Briar Great Shield. Yo, let's go. Where's those GG's, chat? Yo, Kayla. Yo, thanks, Cash. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, dude. I knew we'd get it. I knew we'd get it. We did enough damage to him that uh, eventually we'd get through it. Um, GG is cash. Thanks, buddy. There you go, man. There you go. Hey, look. Working. Working. Let's see this. Uh, let's see this sword real quick. Um, bro, did I pass it? What? Great sword. It's arcane and strength, man. Absolutely. What other kind of work is there other than video game work? <laughs> you guys should see the meme I threw in um, in the Discord, in our Discord for the community, for the channel. Uh, in the Lost Ark channel. 
It was pretty good. It was like it was like doing thirty minutes of actual work, and it like had this like picture of a of of somebody, and they just looked totally like wasted. And then um, it was like grinding eight hours to get a uh, what was it, like a helm that looks different or something like that in in a video game, and it was like they're all happy and like right and stuff. That's really how it feels, yeah. This is cool, man. Um, it'd be really nice if we had Arcane. Um, we'll end up finding something to use before long, I think. Storied Sword of House Marius, the family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Tassel, one of the legendary armaments. Elmer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter, snatched the sword from the side of the looming execution, furnished it with battle skills from his home of Aokade? Aokade? Uh, unique skill, Aokade's Dancing Blade. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. Dude, that attack was brutal. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase reach and duration of the spin. That's really cool, man. It's just, uh... Not gonna work for us, man. Do we get anything else from that? Oh, dude, we can get another flask uh, charge. Nice. Another flask charge. Yo, I have two of those. What? Electrify. Poison. My bad. They looked the same. Okay. Oh, we got a shield, didn't we? That's what we got. We got a shield. My bad. You know, let's take a look at that. Briar Great Shield causes blood loss buildup. Now, that's a big old strength shield is what it is. So, if, if we were doing a, uh, a strength build, that would work. But we're not. Or eat it, though. Great shield from a foreign land used by Elmer the, of the Briar. Attacks with this armament utilize uh, the iron thorns that have been wound around its frame. Originates from Aokade, a land of proudly solitary uh, aesthetics. Skill shield bash. Brace behind shield before using body weight to ram foes while maintaining guarding stance. Weaker enemies will be shoved backwards and can even be staggered. Right on. Cool, man. Uh, we need to level up. Let's level up. We're going to do uh, a bit more vigor. Get that life up a bit more. Go. Cool. Now. There was a tower we didn't go up on here. That I need to check out. Where is the next? Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Dude, that, uh, that boss wamboed. It melted. And we, uh, by the way, equipment-wise, like, I don't feel like we're, we're wearing nothing. Like, we've got a lot of poise. Um, overall, I should be looking at status. We've got a, we've got a lot of resist right now, I feel. And... It, we were getting almost one hit, but two hit by by that enemy. It it was pretty crazy. There is is that it, or is that it? No, that might be it over there. Go back down. We've got to go back to this other tower and try to climb it. We're going to have all these enemies back, too. It'll be fun trying to run through here.
Nice, dude. We got their gauntlets. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we jumped on him. Sick. Well, that was close. We got the gauntlets again, dude? What? Weird. Where was the ladder at? Stupid dogs! No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want... I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. Nope, nope, where is it, dude? Okay, we're out. Was it over here? Where did I pass that other ladder at? Man, I'm tripping. Okay, man. I'm dying. There was another tower, dude, I know there was, that had a ladder on it. I didn't go up it. Was it, was it a tower? All right, we're gonna go this way slow. We've already killed a lot of this stuff, so. Everything here wombos, man. It's crazy. Really? That's the only thing I'll say about this weapon. It feels like I swing right over the top of shorter enemies quite often. Like dogs and rats and mice and stuff in this game. I'll just swing right over them, man. Where was this? Well, that was pretty rude, buddy. Correct. Okay. Drop something. A fruit. This was it. We didn't go up here. My bad. I knew it was around here somewhere. I was pretty sure it was a ladder that I missed. Hey, perfumer's cookbook, dude. Sick. Nice. We love loot. What am I hearing? Alright, I think we've gotten this place kind of cleaned out. So, I'm just going to... We'll go ahead and just throw a sword on it.
And let's go see if we can't search out some more of this stuff to see if we can find what we can find out through here. Did we get this earth tree done? We did. We absolutely did. At the end of the day yesterday. Yep. Go here. Absolutely. All right. That's done. This is the way we're going. Uh huh. We got this completed. I need to mark that. What we need to do probably is actually go to this one. Let's go here. That's, I think, where we need to start. And we'll follow this road. That way, right? Yup, yup. Yeah, let's go. Oh! Hold up, dude. While I'm thinking about it, we need to up our flasks. Let's do that real quick. Another charge. Okay, I didn't think we had any more tears. Alright, let's go. We already grabbed these. Yeah. Yep, yep. Got him. That was a weird miss. Man, the game lags out so hard on the uh, on the horse. It's really weird. I love hitting people riding around on the horse, just like smashing people. Feels awesome. Okay. Um, so this is the whole thing. We'll go back and talk to her. I mean, that could be a guy. I, I don't know. Please, your fingers. Please, your fingers. Let me smell your fingers. <sighs> to the east. Ruins of gold. To the west. The serpent's sacrilege. <sighs> Wherever the path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. Okay. Tis a curse. A curse. We got the flipping riddler here. No, we're out, dude. You're weirding me out a little bit. What is this? A lump of flesh? Fantastic. Hopefully it's kith meat. Ooh. 
What is that? Well, that looks terrible. Okay. Um, first of all, we'll see where this teleports us to. Then we'll come back. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to go get the tree done. That's fine. Yeah, let's see where this takes us real quick. Are they dancing? Yo, they're dancing out there. Check that out. You see them? They're dancing. Singing in the rain. Oh, who is this, bro? What is this? Um. Oh, it took us from this side to this side. Okay, let's just go. Let's go see what's up. They're dancing over there. Dancing. Bohemian, what are you? Are you aggro? No aggro. What's up, dude? What? The what? Bruh. Is that Dawson? It looks like, it looks like Dalsim, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, do we have a... No, that's not it, huh? Hold on, let's, uh... There we go. I pointed upwards, dude. Touch fingers with me. There's a homie on this bridge. We need to figure out how to uh, connect. I don't know. I don't know, dude. We'll figure it out. Um, before we do all this over here, let's uh, let's go try to address this tree real quick. Yo, where is uh? Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Go back here real quick. We're gonna go down here into the tree, try to take care of this tree. The tree. Whoa. Hey, fellas. No, we're good. That was wild. Got him. Where are we going? Well, oh, these guys are everywhere, dude. What the crap? Let's go this way. Oh, dude, he's up on top of that tree. What the heck? 
Oh, this is bad. Oh, this guy be doing, like, insta-death stuff. No. I don't like. I don't like! Be gross, chat. Ah. That's disgusting. How did I miss that, dude? Dead. Nice. Kill him. Kill him. souls, baby. Gotta kite him. I missed. Yo, that was not cool, man. That was really bad. Oh, I missed, dude. No. I'm missing this mob, dude. What the crap? Ah, that's bad. Ah, oh, that's gross. chat. Really? No. Nope. Worm face. Good old worm face. Get out of it. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, okay. Crimson Spill Crystal Tear. Speckled Hard Tear. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Bro. Rude. Get wrecked. Let's see where this guy takes us. On our slow little jaunt. How many souls do we have? A lot. A lot of souls. We should level up. Oh, he's going to take us up there, yeah. Uh, I need to mark the tree, too. What the crap is going on in there, dude? We're having a little, a little get together, a little meeting. There's a lot of them over there, man. There's got to be like a chest over there or something. Okay. I don't know if there's any reason to... Uh, that's a jellyfish. Okay. Alright, let's see what's up with this, dude. Yo, this is one we had already been in, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one we had already been through. No? No, this doesn't look super familiar. No, it does not. Okay. Obviously, I could have just grabbed that and gone, Oh, yeah, I discovered this. But I'm an idiot. Get wrecked, buddy. Smithing stone five. Alright. 
Super. Dude, a somber smithing stone four off that guy? What the crap? Oh, what is that, dude? What is... Okay. I couldn't tell if it was actually going to be bad or not. Okay, dude. What? Where is my... I can't target. I can't target this thing now. It's weird. Greg. Crystal darts. Okay, yeah, whatever. They're making some sparks down here. Through the guy. Kidding me? Okay. Oh, dude, I seriously need to level up. What is wrong with me? Crap. Whoa, whoa! I didn't even see this guy! I don't even see that guy. Scary. Scary. Freaks me out, man, when that happens. Those little guys are tough to see, man. Yo, wait, there's different ways to go here. Um, now, if I remember correctly, we came in through here, right? Yeah. We could go back and level up right now. Is that the play? Probably. Probably. Then we'll just run through uh, those areas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's level up. Let's level up. 
Now what, we need 10,000 more? That was really close, okay. I'll just do like, uh, two of those. That should be enough. I think that should be enough. Uh, I lied. I need four, like 440, 450, 440. Okay. Let's go. 800 HP. Feels good. We are chompsters. Super chomp. Super chomp. Let's go. We're out. Nope. Thanks, buddy. I'm just going to run through here. Not a care. 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 Oh no, dude, another one of these things? Where's it at? It's hanging up there? Oh god. Man. That sucks. We gotta run up above too, yeah? I was trying to get trying to get on the uh Bannister, or what's it called? The railing. The railing there. I just yeeted myself straight off the side. Emotional damage! Hmm. Yo, I need coffee. I need coffee. Give me a second. I'm gonna take a quick bio break, grab some coffee, and we'll keep going for a little bit longer, okay? You guys are beautiful. Give me just a second, I'll be right back, okay? Thanks for being here.
All right, guys, sorry. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. My peoples. Let's go. Let's go die. Did I even, did I death count that last Emotional one? Emotional damage. Probably, but also probably not. Yeah. Get wrecked. Whoa! Hey, get wrecked. Hey, 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 hey. But it'd be cool, man. Yo! Yo! That's not what I wanted. There we go. Wild, dude. They just kept coming. I'm getting up there. Okay, here's the play. Here's the play. Um... What is, uh, Fletch, I'm guessing, goes further, yeah? Oh, great, great arrows. Yo, what, what do I need for the, uh, hold on, man, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Only capable of firing great bolts. Great bolts. Great bolts. Okay, let's try to let's see. Uh, can I target that? Yep. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> We're gonna try to cheese this big, big guy out. Nope, that's not what I wanted, dude. Uh, there we go. There we go. Missed. Will it not target? Oh my god, I'm facing right at it, dude, when I roll out and it just There we go. Yeah, I think we'll get it. Yeah. 
We should probably upgrade this thing. Could have just shot again, I guess, but I was worried it was fifty seven hundred. Okay, a few bolts left over. Nice. Get wrecked. Uh, hello. That's the whole thing. Nope. Get wrecked. Ooh. Nice. That's all that was down there. Really? That is definitely death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, because of science, we have to at least try this. That would have been sick. We're gonna keep moving up, though. Arsenal charm. Really, dude, that looks a lot like our sword, to be honest. Oh, do we already have one? What? You can put two on? Oh, it's a bigger one. Yeah, it raises the load just up. Greatly raises maximum equipment load. Arsenal charm plus one, yeah. Okay, sick. Very nice. Go, go, go. Well, that was nice. Now we go down the other hall. Glad we went down this hall first. Nope, I'm good. See you later. Uh, this is for boating, yeah. Bro. Okay, that's a whole bunch of get wrecked. Nice. Might as well just kill him, yeah? Very good. Very good. Get wamboed! Take that. We have so many smithing stone fives. That is definitely a boss. Ready for this? Oh, two? That's bad. That's bad. Good night, dude. I can't. I can't. Woo! 
That is something else. Alright. Healing's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, healing's a lot of fun. I'm trying to get heals in right there. Um... We'll figure it out. I wonder if I can backstab those guys. Backstabbing those guys would be uh, insane. Hey, thanks! Emotional damage! You take me again. That was a really cool camera angle I got there, uh, locking onto that enemy. I don't, I don't know. All right. Psych, what's up, buddy? You done with work, man? Thanks. Emotional damage. I love having to run all the way back. Feels good. And the project, GGS, bruh. Nice, man. Congrats. You can just retire now, right? Play video games forever? Why am I... Dude, I can't even stun these guys. It's absurd. Can I roll, please? Oh, this feels terrible. The, uh, the one throwing things needs to... I'm not going to be able to focus on that with the, the melee one. I've got to kill the melee one first. They do not take very much damage, dude. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Bro, get wrecked. Whatever. Don't stop, man. I need my... There we go. I can't get the stupid... It is so flippin' dumb. How... Like, if you're behind them, you should just be... Like, you're behind... Obviously, you're behind them, man. Do the execution, but it's like so wonky and and like that the actual what the, the what the game considers you being at the exact point of needing to be behind an enemy to get an execution on them is really weird even though there are so many times where i've been behind an enemy directly behind yeah super salty dude ripperoni yeah the thing is it's not just like in this Nice, dude. Rando emote. Let's go. It's not just in this situation. It's like enemies that, um... Bro, get wrecked! Like enemies that won't know I'm there. I'll sneak up behind them to do an execution and won't get it. And it's like...
good, thanks. Bro. so dumb literally right behind the enemy and you just it it just does not want to give you that execution and these crystal guys are flipping tanks bro like yeah look moving yeah it's they're super weird they're also they're made of crystal so they're just absolute flipping tanks like, you don't, I don't do any damage to these guys, and I'm rocking a big fat two handy, dude. That's why the executions are big, is because. Thanks. 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 terrible man I don't think I'm gonna keep fighting these guys right now um, I'm gonna wait until I can actually come in here and wombo them uh, it feels terrible it feels terrible fighting two bosses at the same time is not fun dude and especially when you're not doing any damage to them so I'm just gonna mark this place for now it's a bit late in the day too I don't have a ton of concentration right now um, Goat. We gotta come back here. That's what goat means. We have to come back. We've got uh, a few different ones around here now. Gotta come back here for the goat. Yeah, so so here's the thing, man. Uh I deal with headaches sometimes, Cash. Um and I've got a I've got <laughs> I've got a minor one today, and sometimes wearing my headset uh, just kind of it makes things worse. So I'll like crank up the audio in my headphones to where I can still hear them, even though I don't have them on. You know, yeah. Um, just wearing wearing the headphones can can yeah. Well. Yeah, and I've tried earbuds. I'm just not a big fan of them, man. I don't know. And maybe I just need to try some different kinds and sizes and stuff like that. That might be why. Yeah. That's why That's why often I've just got them around my neck. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's the same here. And, and I've, uh, I've, I've... The headaches aren't as bad as they used to be. I was dealing with migraines for quite a while, but... Uh, you know, it doesn't take much, um, and the headphones tend to do that to me. Yeah. You found the right ones. What kinds do you use, Cash? Where are we going? Where are we going here? Let's go. 
Oh, I gotta go out of here to get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. That's like, these have noise canceling on them too, but they're, it's not to the point to where, like I don't turn it on and um, they don't block out an, uh, so much noise that I can't tell like if there's something going on that I need to know, you know what I mean? So, I don't like not being able to have anything. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I, I just haven't used uh, noise canceling all that much. Yeah. I just, I don't like not being able to tell if there's something going on around me that, that I need to be aware of. That, that weirds me out being... Um, I mean, for immersion and everything, obviously, you know, you want to not have that noise, but, you know, um, I've got kids and, you know, stuff like that, and if they need to get my attention or whatever, I like being able to still hear and everything, so I just haven't quite often used. Real comfy? I'll have to look into them, man. I'll have to look into them. You said it's the, the bows, huh? Okay. I'll have to look into them. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've kind of had the same issue, but I, I think there's probably um, something to be said for a quality set of earbuds, you know? My thing is, I'm just, I don't want to be spending like a ton of money on a bunch of different sets to find some that, that work, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll go with the Bose, man. Hopefully they just work. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go up Schmear. Alright, let's go up Schmear. We didn't look through everything down here, did we? Oh well. For right now, to be. We need to go see what this is, too. Let's go back here. Smaller earpiece and felt good? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. I'll have to try them out. I'll have to try them out. And these things aren't like crazy tight or anything really on my head, but uh, definitely, you know, I mean, sitting here for three sizes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like kind of the standard nowadays. Usually I've found with earbuds. Um, I do have a set. I have a set um, that I'll use occasionally. Um, I like them all right. But um, I couldn't see myself with the set I have. I couldn't see myself sitting here using them just for eight to ten hours a day. You know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of the thing with these. Like they're not uncomfortable by any means. It's just that I have an issue with headaches and anything that kind of just sits there and puts pressure, man. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Call it what you want to call it, man. Um, I can grow a beard. What's your excuse? <laughs> Cash. Wick, what are you doing, man? You still serving smoothies? Well, that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> are you home, dude? What? Three o'clock? You letting uh you letting your minions handle business, dude? Letting the minions handle things? What the? Where was my jump, dude? What? <laughs> uh, by the way. Yeah, th thanks, Cash. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Emotional damage. <laughs> My 
Okay, that happened. My goat didn't want to jump, man. Yo, this thing is not a horse, by the way. Look at that. That's not a horse, man. I don't know what it is, but it's not a horse. Yo, look at that balance, though. There's no doubt that's a goat. Look at this. Look at this. No horse could do that. It's a steed. It's a goat steed. No, no, no horse could do that, dude. Look at that. That's goat maneuvering. <laughs> that's goat agility, dude. There you go. <laughs> okay. We dead? Hey, we lived! Sick. What's this? Fur gloom? What's fur gloom? I should probably heal. Yeah, we need to go this this way. Yeah, okay. What what brought that up, dude? Bro, what is this? Glob, dude. No ghost imps, man. Oh, is that what you play on Tuesday nights? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are much worse shooters out there. Look, I I actually haven't uh, dude, I haven't even like looked at what PUBG was like. Since it, it got, like, big a few years ago. I played it just a little bit. Just to kind of get a taste of what was going on. Um, but it didn't really suck me in. You know. Didn't really en envelop me. Didn't didn't pull me into where I felt like I needed to be playing it all the time. It was, it was okay. It was alright. I think it's evolved quite a bit since then, though. Yeah? Is it the exact same? Is it really? No, they don't. It's still the biggest uh, battle royale in Asia, is it really? Well, yeah. What I wonder is, is so so. Bicycles have bells. Get out of here, dude. I I wonder how big Fortnite would be compared to PUBG if Fortnite was available in all of Asia. Yeah. I'm not a Fortnite fan, by the way. I'm just, I'm just talking like as a gamer, uh, you know, a fan of gaming in general, and and. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually really funny, man. Doing backflips. It sounds like some stuff. Dave Mira, dude. Dave Mira was sick or is sick. Yeah. Um, I loved. I loved like watching BMXers and and uh, like skateboarders and stuff back in the day, man. That was. Uh, Whenever I was younger, dude, I actually went to an Extreme Games exhibition uh, for my cousin's birthday and got Tony Hawk's autograph and stuff. Got to meet him and everything. It was really cool. Tony Hawk's really, really chill. Really chill, dude. What is this? Oh. Yeah, dude. I played so much Tony Hawk Pro Skater back in the day. Good night. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. X Games was huge back then. Yeah. Let's see what 
this is about, man. Mirage Riddle. Touch three Phantom Crests. Okay. Now... Did it show the locations of the others, right? Do we have that in our... There we go. Yeah, there's one down by the broken bridge, one where we're at, and one right below the temple. Okay, let's see if we can find these. I mean, a lot of what those people can do, man. Um, you know. I mean, the closest I've ever come to doing anything like that was snowboarding. And I wasn't ever, I wasn't like doing tricks or anything. It was just like going and hitting the slopes in the winter uh, when I lived out in California. And uh, I loved it, man. I loved it. But, but the people that actually excel to the point of where they're like in the Olympics and doing like X Games stuff and they're just it's, it's really bonkers man the amount of uh, concentration they have and and you know it, it's balance coordination skill and everything they develop to do those kinds of things it's really wild man it's just really cool I have a lot of respect for it a lot of injuries too though a lot of injuries too Yo, where's that broken? Wait, what? The map is flipped, isn't it? The map is flipped. Hold on. I need to see something. Let's look at this again. A riddle concerning a rise that vanishes like a mirage. It is here, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna head down here. Let's take a look and see if it's actually if there's one of them right here. I think this is it. The map is just turned. It's really weird. I still have that autograph too of Tony Hawk's. Got it on a shirt, man. Got it on a shirt. <laughs> No, I'm way off right now, but
Yo, have I been in here? Uh, hello. Get wrecked, dude. What was that? Okay. All right, I think, uh, yo, Wick, if you're home, what are you doing, dude? Are you playing games? I need to look around this bridge. What you gonna play, man? You gonna stream? Okay, that felt good. Thanks, boar, you idiot. Trying to get to that six hundo in Lost Ark, dude, or what? Right, let's take a look at this. Inventory, uh... Bro, give me a break. Right here. right in front of the imp is where that tower will be. The tower will appear after we get all these. Um, I'm guessing... I mean, it seems like it should be right over here. Yeah, and then the other one will be over here. Let's see if we can find this. It's gotta be over here somewhere. Hey guys! I love running around hitting things with my sword. It feels good. Rude. I feel like we should have seen it already though, this is weird. where we saw that initially. I'm gonna figure this out. This is, this is gonna hurt me if I don't figure this out. There's one right there. It won't let me touch it on my horse, fantastic. 
Bro, get wrecked. Okay, man. Can't do anything, Crouch. Can't do anything on your goat. It's not a horse, it's a goat. Hey, buddy, what you got there? That's mine. What was that? McQuila's Lily? Weird. The other one should be down this way, yeah? So that was the third one. Because where's the, uh... It's right here. And there's that one back there. Yep. And there should be one, like, right up here somewhere, right? Take another another look-see. Look yeah, dude, what? They might have to show up in order or something of, of grabbing them, I don't know. This is kind of odd. Is it up there? Here's the play. Here's the play. We're gonna go here. We're gonna look from above. See if we can see this thing from from a better vantage point. The way the map reads, like the other two were right where they're supposed to be, and I don't see this one. It's really odd. this man it's gonna really bug me it's gonna bug me man where's it at
I don't think this is the side it's supposed to be on, according to the map. We've already done this Erd tree, yeah. Crap, dude. Oh, is there? Uh, I actually want to look in here. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Oh, there is a tunnel down there. Let me down. Well, this is gonna be rude. I still gotta find the other one, but oh, hey, it's just a chest. That's it. Wrath of Gold. Noose's golden shockwave that knocks foes back. Dude, that's a pretty high faith requirement. 32. Wild. Woo! Right, let's go back. This is weirding me out. Okay. That's as close as we can get in here. Is it... It might be a little further out this way. Let's take a look at this. We're a little bit close to this bridge right now. Um, According to this, here's what I'm going to do. I think I figured out a way to tell where it's supposed to be anyways. It doesn't mean it'll show up, but... They're not, oh, these things are not hard to see, man. Three Phantom Crest. This is where the tower will show up. Mirage Rise. This is where the tower will show up. Um, and according to the map, this is where we are right now. So the first, if we put a beacon straight towards the first gap. It should take us there, man. Oh. 
see we already got this one down here this is the one it should be like right here that's where this thing should be no right here Here we go. Go up here. That's right where we had the beacon last time, man. What is it? Bro, are you kidding me? What? What? It Get Womboat, I guess. Jesus. figured it out. Okay. That was pretty rude. Pretty rude, devs. Nice, though. Nice. That was pretty rude. See what's going on up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Mirage rise. Cool. Figuring things out, man. I love it. Hate it when I don't figure things out. Love it when I do. Usually three head prevails. <laughs> it's another necklace unseen blade unseen form slumbering egg times five what is that makes right hand armament completely invisible Makes the caster semi-invisible. That's pretty wild. Okay. And then, uh, slumbering eggs? Are these, uh... Okay. See if there's anything else to find around here. Probably not. It's probably it, but let's see. I didn't mean fall. That was really lucky. I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Uh, 
Cool, we got that one. Feels good. Uh, we got this too. Right, let's go to the other side of this bridge. Meaning here. Yup. And here. Let's see what's up with the dancers, dude. And this guy. Is he still, uh... Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Raise the sun, I guess, yeah. Raise the sun, buddy. Alright. I want a new Wombo stick, man. Bro, what is this? What's going on up here? Sword? Okay, wow. We got a whole bunch of stuff from them. That'd be weird. That's a drop. Do they just explode? They just go explodies? All the time? The dancers are crazy. Look at the Knight's Blade in a moment. Okay. So many weapons. Yeah, where'd it go? Passed it, must have. Rogier's. What? Oh, this is it. I thought I already had something that looked just like this. That's weird. Okay. Track the twin blade. Um, that's sick. That's actually really cool. Uh, a fine make that prizes uh, the chivalric way. Can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked, unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. Spinning slash, favored, uh, skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. That's really cool. Wow. 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 Very neat. Very neat. Let's see what's up there. Hey, buddy. Everything's 
fine. Raw meat dumplings, let's go. Windmill Village? Oh, this is gonna be bonkers, yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay, what's up, buddy? I hear a festive melody. No, no, don't skin me. My hide is filthy, I swear. Yum. Okay. Yeah, these uh these dancing lady zombies are pretty wild. Uh what is this? Celebrant skull? Okay. See what that is. One handed mace, probably. Yeah, Warhammer. Large bludgeon decorated with flowers and many colored fabric. Ceremonial tool used by dancers during the festivities of Dominula Windmill Village. Striking in is a skull too large in size to be human. Grants trace amounts of runes on landing attacks. What? I bet it's not enough worth using. And barbaric roar skill, which we've had before, so... I need a big two handy wombo weapon. I need a big two handy wombo weapon. Oh, they're using it. Okay. Their dancing is, uh, evil. Evil dances. Get wrecked! attack dude okay we won't mess with killing them anymore there's a lot of them holy crap grandmas angry grandmas Grandma's. Give me that. Ah, dude, I jumped right through that window. Crazy. Ah. 
crazy ladies. Hey, there's a well. Well, there's a well. Oh, dude, give me a break. What? Oh, goat, chill, chill, goat, chill. Oh, nice jumping, dude. Oh, God, what an idiot. What an idiot goat. It's not my fault. It's the goat's fault. up here can't get up there uh, I bet we could oh there's actually we need to get up there yeah okay uh -uh. do it this way make it real easy oh dude nice jumpies goat Nice jumpies, goat. Exalted flesh. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, oh, nice, dude. My horse didn't come. My goat didn't come out. Nice. Oh, this looks terrible. Godskin Apostle? Ass. This? Ah! I missed him, dude? What? Uh, that didn't hit? Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. Music though. Oh, what was that, man? It 
This guy is chonky, dude. Very chonky. Very chonkster. Ooh, that's nasty. Really? Miss? That was a miss, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Okay. First try every time, Chad, let's go. Godskin Peeler, Scouring Black Flame. Oh. Gonna be a dex weapon. So many dex weapons, dude. What the crap? There's just a ton of uh, dex weapons, man. What, what the what, man? Wild, man. Uh, unique twin blade wielded by God skin apostles, characterized by its disturbing design. One end features a signal for slicing attacks, while the other boasts a winding. Uh, spike for boring into flesh. Much skill is required to wield this weapon due to its asymmetric nature. Skill, Black Flame Tornado. Uh, spin armament overhead and then plunge it into the ground to summon a ravaging vortex of black flames. Hold to create an initial flame tornado while spinning the armament. It's cool, man. It's cool. Uh, what was the other thing we got? this scouring black flame sweeps area before caster with black flame okay high faith we won't be using it black flame incantation of the god skin apostle sweeps a wide area before the caster with black flame charging enhances range black flame could once slay gods but when uh, malaketh sealed destined death the true power of the black flame was lost Well, first try every time. GG. Crazy grandmas. Where are we going, dude? What? Wait, what? What, what, what? Okay, there's an item there. Grab that. Ah! Bro! I didn't get it! Oh. Lightning grease, okay. Uh, 
Did I get this? I must have. Feels good. Woo! Okay, we'll just go down here. That's fine, that's fine. Are we aggroed on something? What? <laughs> or something's aggroed on us, I mean? Must be. Oh, great, dude. More catapults. Oh, wait. We've been this way. Uh, we've been this way? Pretty sure we've been this way. This is bad. This is bad, dude. Those hurt so bad. Those hurt so bad, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? Shenanigans, man. Shut and nanigans. All right. Ah. happens if we go that way. Are we able to... Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see real quick. Game's gorgeous, man. It really is. What'd we get? Lost Ashes of War? Oh, okay. So you can't get in that door, apparently? Legit have to go. Okay. We have to go. Probably the easier way is going to be up here. Go up here. And we'll circle back around the back get into this place. Let's go. That's so stupid, man. Riding along a path, something starts coming up out of the ground and you just get completely blocked by it. Oh, that's fun.
Let's stay out of there. Bro, are you kidding me? Draconic Treason. What? 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 <laughs> uh, dude. I like that riding around on a horse, you get Wombo. Like, there's no way to dodge that. You can't ride around on the horse to fight this guy. That's funny. Sir! Sir! Go fast. What? Night. Sure, can I have that axe, please? Whatever that is. Dragon hip. That'd be great. Well, figure out how to do this fight. Thanks. Wow. Wow. That thing can shoot those quick. Dragon horse needs to die. We have a dragon horse. No offense to goat horse, but, you know, dragon horse would be cool. Dude, how many? Emotional damage! A few more. We'll do one more. Emotional damage! This guy has to drop some cool stuff, right? damage are we doing? Not bad. So bad. Okay, dude, yep. Bro, get wrecked. What? Okay. 
Wow, okay, dude. I don't think so. What are you talking about, man? I feel like, uh, that the boss was bugged back, like, I couldn't hit it. So cheesed, bro. Emotional damage. You just have to run. You just have to run there. I don't think running's gonna work. I think you have to dodge it. I've dodged it, but golly, that the timing on it is the window is small. Ouch, dude.
good. Yep, that was nice. What? What? That's got me all thrown off. I can't believe that hit. Oh, no way, dude. Oh no! That missed? Yeah? That missed? Yeah? No way. No flipping way! Where was my dodge, dude? Oh, God! Emotional damage! I definitely hit spacebar right there, dude, and just didn't roll. Just didn't roll, man. It feels terrible. How long that fight just was, man? Ah, uh. that's flipping brutal. Feels good, yep, yep. He hits, but I don't. Feels good, let's go. What? 
emotional damage. Somebody explain to me how I got hit right there, rolling forward through one of these stupid horse fireballs like I do every single time. How did that clip my hit box and then send me to the side of this, this stupid boss, dude? Try to see if I can stun him out. Emotional damage. I I have no more patience for this now, dude. Uh, it feels so flipping terrible. So terrible. I had like two hits left on the guy. What? The iframes this boss gets sometimes after shooting the its horse shoots the fireballs is terrible. It gets iframes for no reason. My stab goes straight into the hitbox and doesn't do any damage to this boss and doesn't get the flipping stagger that it's supposed to get. It feels really, 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 really bad. I get clipped, dude. What? Emotional damage. How did I get clipped there, man? That dodge was perfect. Emotional damage. I don't have patience for this now. Not after getting it down to where I was and, and losing my dodge input. It just feels terrible. 
Feels terrible, man. That was weird. Good, thanks. Give me stuff. Great Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw Shield. Ooh. Nice. Get wrecked. Butthole. That was making me salty. Sorry. Hmm. Equipment. Let's see. Where is this thing at? Not a dude, what? Oh, it does lightning damage though. Great Dragon Claw. Does lightning damage, doesn't require uh, any faith in or Weapons said to have been whittled from the claw of a great ancient dragon wielded by grotesque tree sentinels who yet serve the Erd Tree. The claw is enwreathed with lightning and tears through the dragon's feeble descendants with ease. And tears. Fears. What? I, I can't read. Through the dragon's feeble descendants with ease. Endure. Assume an anchored stance to brace for income attacks, briefly boosting poise. 
we would probably trade that out for something else. We have a lot of rooms right now. Holy crap. Lots of runes. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm interested. I'm interested in this. Um, Colossal Sword. Colossal weapon. But the uh I don't know man, it doesn't it doesn't let's just take let's take a got a lot of runes right now we need to uh, level up and what is this our turtle shells all bloody it's cool looking love that let's level up Do we do we pump more strength? If we get up to 40 strength, what's that mean? We can dual wield anything that has a strength requirement of 60? At this point, I don't know that we're going to find anything like that. So I don't know if it makes sense to keep pumping strength. Um, I would hope. I would hope they would put some weapons in the game that were just incredibly um, strength-based requirements, you know what I mean? To, to make it to where you would have to boost a lot of strength to be able to even dual wield it. I'm hoping, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna hope for. So we'll just put some more into strength, keep going. What is this? Cannot proceed without more great runes. Okay. Okay. Um. Bro, I need in here. Because I need to take that out. Um. Let's do this real quick. Let's go. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, not that. Uh. Go here real quick. I want to see. I am interested in the dragon's claw. Uh, I don't like the attacks for it very well. Or very much. Is this guy ready to fight? Come fight. I asked you be thankful that he's all the king. Whatever. You're gonna get throttled and you know it. <sighs> Alright. Our other buddy left. Um, do you? I can hear it from across the wing. The how you should keep. I know you should. Okay, dude. Whatever. Well, I took the man out of it. It's all out your own. It actually costs more to level this up than this. Why? That's weird. Endured. What? Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. I think uh, for me to switch weapons, I'm either going to need another great sword, or I'm going to need like a a pretty sick polearm kind of weapon. I don't know that um, like a, a hammer or an axe or a club is really going to do it for me. I don't like the attacks on them, so. Just not really my jam. If you follow this heroic, it cannot. Let's see what's going on down here. I don't think there's probably anything new here. Hey, you changed. Um. Oh, forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent. Just like it's me. your dad. Does the volcano manor hide some secret? Lady Tanith has kept for me. I realize yep. that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? The serpent, it entered the perhaps the night. If you discover, 
Okay, bye-bye. Yo, give me your armor. Alive, I see. Well. Um. Take a look upstairs real quick. And this game lags out pretty hard sometimes. A lot of times. That'll do it, chat. That'll do. Nine and a half hours. It's a good stream, man. It's a good stream. Feels good. We got a lot done today. Sorry I got salty there at that uh, that fight. Just feels bad getting uh, getting where we got, and uh, you know, with that fight, only a, a, like a hit or two left, and then you know, my dodge input not taking in the game, just getting killed like that, just feels really bad. So. Sorry for getting salty. Uh, thanks to everybody who uh, who hung out today, who's always part of what we do here. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow morning, 06 o'clock a.m. Central North American time for more Elden Ring. Um, yeah, lots more to find and discover and, and hopefully lots more loot to get. Um, thanks for being you. Stay healthy, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys? Thanks so much. See you later.